<laughs> well, hello, hello, and welcome to The Last Door, Season 2. Let's see what this is about. The Last Door, Season 2, new game. Previously on The Last Door, Jeremiah Devitt, alerted by the suicide and mysterious letter of his friend Anthony Beechworth, went in a search for the memories of his past that he had lost. David discovered that in school he had taken part in a strange experiment. Its goal was to peek through the veil, the thin line between common reality and the world of horror and madness that lies beyond, under the watch of the eye of the birth. During his search, he was inoculated with the drug they had used back then, the serum made David's mind travel for a few hours to the dreamlike realm of the Vale. There, he met his old classmate Alexander Dupre, who urged David to join his cause and cross with him to the realm of the bird. When David woke up from his trance, he found himself deeply convinced by his friend's words. He traveled to Dupre's house, where he discovered his friend had dosed himself with a new serum leaving a catatonic body behind. This new drug was capable of transporting the mind permanently to the veil and beyond. Finally, David found a vial of serum and had it injected. He met his friend again in the veil and together, they walked through the last door, entering a world forbidden to human eyes. But, this is a more explicit explanation of what happened on the last chapter of, of the first game, so good to know. Good good recap. Uh, David's therapist, Dr. John Wakefield, worried by his patient's disappearance and strange visions, had sought the help of his college professor, John Kaufman, an expert in the occult. Searching Anthony Beechworth's house, Wakefield and Kaufman found a disturbing return letter in which Anthony had tried to warn Alexander Dupre of what could happen if the door was open. He fears something from the other side might then come to ours. Okay. They are coming. But, uh... None of us could prepare for this. Why are we bored in the windows? The visions screaming were merely a warning. This music always amazing, right? So it's spot on. Welcome, it. How are you? And now it is too late. Someone is locking up the door! Board the door! They are coming! Who's coming? Classic. New intro? Oh, this is a new intro. Let's go. And you're the lurkies. I like it. Hmm, this one is a bit more... Okay, close shots. Down. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's so cool. Last night, I had a nightmare again, but this time it was different. This time, he talked to me. Is this David? Are we back with David? Where are we? Yeah, 
It was the same unknown street, void of any sound and life. So we are in a nightmare? He, I walk aimlessly, as if I were lost. Then I could hear it, the broken tromping on the wet cobblestones. The familiar sound of approaching limping footsteps. Uh, then, as before, he stood in front of me, gazing unrelentlessly, like he was expecting something. He's like, with his hand like this, no? What do you want? This time he spoke, give me back what he took, nothing else. Huh? Give me back what he took. Hmm. Oh, wake up! No, I have fallen asleep again. What time is it? Dawn already. It is time. Mm, I still don't know who we are playing as. I'm guessing Jeremiah. Oh, they're taking us. Wait, we're going to the to this town of our dreams, no? It was several months since Kaufman and I had found the mysterious letter in Anthony's Beechworth house. A letter never sent, with a cryptic warning of what will happen if. So this is the therapist then. If a certain door were open. It bore only the name of, of the address, C. Alexander Dupre. We felt sure Dupre was key to finding my patient and friend, Jeremiah David, who had disappeared in such strange circumstances, troubled by the death of his friend Anthony. David had visited the school of his childhood and had never been seen again. Kaufman soon conveyed to me his deep concerns on warning that I should conduct any investigations with the utmost discretion. He pursued his own research, though his thoughts and methods remain a secret. In his last letter, he requested that I visit East Hill Lunatic Asylum in London. There were reasons to believe that Alexander had been institutionalized there for many years. Huh? I was asked to confirm this hypothesis, and if it proved correct, to gather whatever other information may, might arise. Mm, so we are playing as Wakefield, no? I remember they just telling us that he's going to the asylum? London. East Hill. Oh, we have to click there. Okay. I was like, wait, wait. Season 2, Episode 1, The Play Wrath. Play Wrath? Yeah. Okay. So this is East Lunatic Asylum. I hope I can find information on Alexander Dupre here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, don't miss the latest news in town. Alright, do you have a newspaper for? Hey, boy. Sea monster. What are you talking about? Good morning. Good morning, boy. Will you give me a newspaper? Yes, sir. It's sixpence. I'm afraid I don't have a sixpence. Can you make a change for a shilling? I'm sorry, I can't, sir. But you know where to find me when you have these coins. Uh, what can you tell me about this building? The asylum? I've never been inside, and I hope I never will. It's full of crazies, you know? Have, se have you seen any anything unusual around here? No, but maybe if you, if you bought a newspaper. Ah, classic. So we need to buy the newspaper for info. Goodbye, boy. Goodbye, sir. Okay, we need change. <clears throat> it's a lunatic asylum. Uh, I guess I can go anywhere, right? This enormous stone building is a uh, lunatic asylum. Uh, can we talk to this guy? 
Got change. Oh, we can take the car and move around the city. Oh, that's that's very new, no? Compared to the first game. So we're not like stuck in this location forever. Okay, let's explore a little. Uh, hello. A few cardboard sheets lie on the bench. Each shows a perfectly symmetric design in black ink. Please do not touch your sheets, sir. They do not belong to you. Sorry. Good morning. Ah, yes, a lovely morning. Sunlight of a quite fascinating character. I beg your pardon? The light. It makes everything look different. You see, light touches things. Soaks in into uh, soaks into them and changes their nature. It makes them shimmer or makes them die. Do you live here in the hospital? I do indeed. My family is a generous brave factor to ACL. They had me committed, but I don't blame them. They're just incapable of appreciating my art or any art for that matter. They mistake it for insanity. Oh, so these guys like drawing stuff with the cardboard, and they took him for a crazy. You know? Okay. Uh, what are you drawing there? Uh, I'm not destroying, my friend. I'm trying to feel the light to translate its power to the surface of the paper. Those animals don't like it, though. They don't want me to succeed. So they take them away. They take my drawings and they study them and they laugh because my eyes can see the light and their theirs are blind. But someday, someday, it will, will understand. Very Lovecraftian style, no? Very, like, uh, some people having visions or, like, uh, inspiration. Growing stuff, no? Uh, the old ones communicating through weird uh, ways. Who are they? The ones who take your art away. Ah, those foolish caretakers. They hide behind a big mirror where they think themselves safe. And they look at me. They observe me. They even take notes. Hmm. You have some curious drawings right there beside you. Oh, you mean this? They're the only art that makes any sense here. The doctor used them to cajole some patients into revealing secrets inner truths. I will return them to the doctors until they have returned the art they have stolen from me. Hmm. My name is Dr. Wakefield. I'm looking for a man who lived here some time ago. Would you happen to know one Alexander Dupre? The name does not ring a bell. I have not been here long, though. You should ask the other patients. They may be, help may be able to help you. Some have been here for many years. Or you could ask one of the others, the brutes who keeps us here. Hmm. Uh, would you happen to know where your drawings are now? I suspect they are somewhere in the archive, since I have seen confiscated items taken there before. You seem different from the rest. Can I trust you? I have been trying to sneak in for days now, but Miss Riswell keeps a tight guard uh, of the door. I have installed a key from one of those guards. You are a doctor. Surely you could again enter. If you could record my drawings, I will be so grateful. Here, take the key with you. I must go. Have a nice day. So we have a key now. We need to record this guy's painting. That seems important. A large door is made of strong metal. This must lead to a secure guard of the hospital. Inmate quarters. Is this key for this? Nope. So he said he said the paintings are on the archives. I will keep uh, that in mind. Let's go this way now. Uh, good morning, madam. My name is Dr. Wakefield. I'm a psychiatrist. Oh my god! Good morning! Forgive my manners. I get so excited when we have visitors. We don't get many these days, and certainly we're lacking experts like you. Uh, what do you mean, that you like experts? Every year we get less funding from the Crown first. The doctors started to leave. Then it was the caretakers. Now very few remain. But we have responsibility to our poor patients, do we not? We must care of them. They cannot be out living with the proper people. We must keep ourselves safe and our patients too, of course. Uh, I'm looking for a man who used to be a patient here a few years ago. So how much time has passed since the first game to this game? Because Alexander was on the asylum before the events of the first game, during the events of the first game, or after the first game, you know? I don't know. Could have been a month, a year, five years, I don't know. Uh, his name is Alexander Dupre. Do you perchance ever met him? Alexander Dupre? 
Yes, there was one with a foreign name. I remember something of him. I got my fire record correctly. An educated man. But there was something strange about him, wasn't there? I believe it scared some of the other patients. You never know, with this lot. I'm sorry that I can't remember much. There have been so many people here. It's hard to keep track. Uh, have you worked here for long? Yes, a long time. I can scarcely remember how many years. Uh, time goes slowly in here. And the isolation, the rules don't allow us to leave. I don't know what is happening in the world anymore. But we have our duty, do we not? Who else will care for our patients? Maybe she's more crazy than the patients at this point. It's been so many years here, you know? <laughs> May I request access to the Institute's archives? There should be some information there about the man I'm looking for, Mr. Dupre. I am sorry, Doctor, but the archives are private. We must not allow anyone to access them without the proper authority. Many of our patients come from good families, you see, and we take great care- Maybe this voice is annoying for this woman, but I don't know how to do it like a female voice. Uh, so yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna keep this voice for this one, and then for the next one, I will change it, but because, yeah. And we take great care to respect your privacy, but do not look so crestfallen. You will not find much in any case. It is a long time since they have been organized. Hmm. Okay. Uh, our work here takes a great deal of discipline, Dr. Wakefield. As I'm sure you appreciate, it is rewarding in itself, but oh, do I wish I had something to occupy my mind more, to help me pass the time. How that will ease my burden. I shall not bother you then. I mean, you're keeping her entertained, huh? The rose window brings a solemn air to the room. Maybe we need to find something to, like, I don't know, to distract her, you know? A bookshelf. These books are not volumes of psychiatry or medical science, but all serial novels for patients to read. <sighs> Portrait of a severe looking man, most probably the founder of the institute. Sorry, sir, the archives is off limits. Uh, so that's the archives, good to know. <laughs> uh, an early picture portraying Dinfne, patron saint of the psychiatrists, but also of those who suffer neurological disorders and victims of incest. She was killed by her own father, who chopped off her head after she refused to marry him, but her mother died. What the who? Is there, I'm guessing that's a real story, no? Uh, this must be the recreational wing, where patients relax and pass the time. Perhaps here I can find someone who met Alexander Dupre while he was institu institutionalized. Holy. Sunny Beach left uh, by the waves of a gentle sea. A marble bust of Igea, great goddess of physical and mental health. Um, come on. But this is the pastime room. Cheerful pastoral scene. Where the curation of this room suggests a great deal with absence duty to the patient's more, uh, moral needs. The curations, yeah, same thing. I just shaking the paintings, you know. A variety of old fashioned landscapes to, uh, that portray nature as tame and welcome. Oh, let's talk to this person. A man wearing a worn out military uniform, lost in God knows what thoughts. Excuse me, sir. I could not help but notice your uniform. Were you in the army? Leave me alone. Do not want to talk uh, to a coward such as myself. Sir? Leave me alone. I'm just a coward. Okay, he doesn't want to talk. Maybe we have to restore his faith. Is this the same woman from the intro that was uh, putting the boards on the windows? I'm not sure. Uh, good morning, madam. My name is Wickfield. I'm looking for a former patient of his institution. The rambling. She doesn't seem to have noticed me. Uh, madam, if I may persist, had you been living here for long? The rambling. I'm looking for a former patient at this hospital. You have met him. An eyeless gaze. Oh boy. Maybe the name will wake her up, you know? I'm looking for a man that you may have met. His name is Alexandre Dupre. <gasps> oh. Oh. She reacted to that. What a strong reaction upon hearing Mr. Dupre's name. She must have less met him. How can I get her to talk to me? This is the caretaker. Good morning. I'm a psychiatrist, Dr. Wakefield. 
What an impressive institution you have here. Can I ask you for your assistance? I'm looking for a former patient of the institution. His name is Dupre. I'm sorry, sir. I have never heard of that name before. Uh, maybe one of your senior colleges uh, who knows something about this former patient. Well, you could ask Ms. Riswell in the entrance hall. He has been here for years, maybe for too long. You know where uh, we caretakers live here with the patients, and we are not allowed to leave the silence premises. This life can get you uh, can get to you if you don't take proper care. I try to keep as much distance uh, from the lunatics. Hmm. The asylum is quite big, uh, but I can help noticing there aren't many patients around. Well, apart from this uh, in the isolation ward guard, it is true that there are not many patients at present. But there are even fewer of us caretakers now. There are only three for the whole hospital. For where I've been told, in the old times, the income was enough to provide for everything we needed. A complete staff, proper accommodation for the patients, and the best doctors. But as the newer, bigger regional asylums are built, the crown support was gradually withdrawn from East Hill. Soon, everyone started leaving, and this is what remains. I see. Hmm... Well, thank you. In any case, I'll leave you to your workplace. Can we go this way? Are oh, these open? Okay. Is that a mirror? There is a thin piece of metal holding the window open. We can take the. We can close the window. It's not gonna change anything. A glass jar full of a transparent liquid that may or may not have be water. There is a coin resting at the bottom. Hey, we got a coin. Maybe we need to, uh, we can get the newspaper now. Looks like a therapy log. Edward Rohan, 27, acute dementia, September 25th, 1891. 1891. What year was the first game? Was it? 87 or something? Maybe it was, maybe it was the, around this time too. And uh, Mr. Rohan's condition has deteriorated since the last session. He's restless, as if the morphine ha had no effect on him. For the last week, he has been obsessive, troubled for reasons unknown. Uh, September 25th, uh, same day, no? The patient's doses has been doubled to no effect. Uh, September 29th, uh, Dr. Weddell has been attacked and beaten in the face. Four men were needed to subdue the patient, Mr. Rohan. Rohan? Rohan? Yeah. Uh, three markings were found on his body upon examination. Cell harm is possible. Is a possible cause. October 3rd, 1891. Mr. Rohan is getting better day by day, both physically and mentally. His habits have changed considerably. He now shows an interest in religion and spends his time murmuring prayers, albeit once unknown to my colleagues and me. I'm not sure if that's a good sign, mate. <laughs> Therapy log. It's the same thing, no? Yeah. Okay. An unusual large mirror. Should we close the window? What the fuck? Dark as the room is now, I can see through the false mirror. There is a man on the other side, heavily restrained, desperately trying to free himself. He has an expression of unbearable horror on his face. Wait. So is that like an observation room? Piece of metal. Ah, uh, fuck. That sound. What is that sound? There is no new dialogues, no, after seeing that. Okay. Hey, a medal for you. <laughs> this dog is the same company. I feel we have to go get the newspaper, you know? Any new dialogues for the lady? Same thing. We need to find something to distract her. Maybe a newspaper so she can read the news and stuff, you know? We'll see. Is there in this game no like quick uh, double click uh, quick thing? Uh, uh, 
newspaper, please. Take the coin. I'll like a newspaper. Six pence, is it? Here. Thank you, sir. Newspaper. Okay, cool. Uh. Hmm. Let's try giving this to the lady. Oh, now we can fast travel. Why? Thank you kindly. How thoughtful you are. There you go. And now she's reading the newspaper. My goodness. How quickly things change in the outside world. Okay, let's go here. We're entering the archives. She doesn't notice me. This is the hospital archive, where a record of each patient must be stored. If Mr. Dupre was really committed at East Hill, his file should be here somewhere. Portrait of a restrained patient surrounded by take care, take, caretakers and a doctor. Why would you have a painting like that? Uh, what? It's been a long time since the lens was last used. It is covered in discarded papers and pens and a noticeable layer of dust. The drawers are all locked. Dang it. Maybe we can use the... Oh, we didn't use the key there. They're all locked, but I cannot use the key there. Uh, this cabinet contains many documents that train the treatment of patients, ranging from two decades ago to last year. His file is right here. The Prey Alexander, room 108A. All the files are missing. It is as if they have been torn out. Only a little piece of paper remains, with an address written on it, Hall Street 26. Could that be where Alexander Dupre lived before he was committed to this hospital? Hall Street. I should follow this new lead and see if it takes me somewhere useful. Okay, so we take the car to Hall Street. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I guess we have to go back to the asylum later on, no? That's cool. It's like the uh, episode one is like expanding. La uh, let's see. All the dates of this cabinet are prior to 1870. Uh, I'm looking for a more recent file. A metal locker. A small Ryan seat seats objects. Key. Oh, shit. Uh, some personal effects. Probably sent in by the patient's family, by them and saved by the caretakers. Maybe these are the drawings that are taken from the other guy. Uh, one of them is a stack of thick sheets of paper, carelessly, carelessly bound together, uh, bearing the drawings and paintings of a travel mind. Is there... Oh, there you go. Drawings. Nothing else here. Right, so a piece of metal. I'm not sure what that's going to be for. Is there anything else we can do here? There is still that military guy and the the old woman. Those those two patients might know something. But we can come back here later, so. There you go, man. Your drawings. Here! Are these your drawings? Great wonder! They're back! Someday they will understand light and sh and shape as I understand them. Thank you, friend. If you want, take these cardboard sheets. Thanks to you, I have no more need of them. Okay, what is it? What are these for? Can I? It will be cool to inspect them. You know, a few folded cardboard sheets each uh, with an 11 centimeter. Band. Oh, this is what we were for. It was between the deeper causes of their ailment. So these are like Rorschach uh, uh, drawings, huh? Or tests. Okay. So you can inspect that actually. Nice. I'm glad I did that. This is the first scar. Okay. The shapes look organic. Almost like insects. Oh, the mask. I'll say this could be a face. Interesting. Who are we going to show that to? That's going to be cool. Let's go to uh, Paul Street. Let's find out if uh, Alexander did indeed live here. 
This door is number 24. I'm looking for number 26. Paul Street, then it's here at the corner. So it must be this one, no? Number 26. This is the place I was looking for, but the door is bricked up. I must find another way to get in. <laughs> the windows are so thoroughly cemented over that it almost mixes with the facet. Facase? Fac I don't know how to say that word. Right? So we have to find another entrance. The ruins of an old chapel apparently destroyed by fire. Why am I hearing whispers? A mess of wooden planks and the remains of benches and chairs. What the? Is that person praying? There is someone in their knees praying. Their face is covered by a hood. Oh fuck! The wooden cross remains almost intact. An improvised altar covered in candles. Huh. Hello? They won't talk to me. With this candle, I can light my way through the dark. Hi. I cannot do anything with this person. So, this is creepy, no? Oh, we are going to go through like a dark tunnel. Looks like this hole leads to the building next door. Oh. Oh. Does that to be that creaky? Oh my, I love this now. One step at a time. This must be the interior of the breakup building I saw on the street. Mr. Dupress, former residence. The door is bricked up. I cannot tell who is depicted in the portrait since so badly damaged. It seems someone crashed it into the floor. There is something among the ashes. It's a piece of paper. It looks like some kind of message, but there is only one half here. The paper has been carefully burned. Hmm, so we need to find the other half. There's a piece of paper on the table. Uh, the paper shows some seemingly random letters. It seems as if half of it is missing. Can I combine these two? This is strange. I put both halves back together, but some letters seem to be missing from the right half. The message does not make any kind of sense. That is weird. So maybe there is a middle part. Few books remain in the shell, mostly doubtful tra uh, treatises on chemistry and alchemy. Among the titles is Tri Trithemius, the Lapide Philosophico, Gevers the Invention, Veritatis. The anonymous work uh, Turba Philosophorum and Ludwig Prince Mysteries of the Worm. Worm. A large metal safe. Looks like the safe is working fine. I should give it a try. Okay. Oh, damn. So, one, two, eight, no? Okay, okay. One, two, eight. So this must be like Roman numbers, no? V is six. And V is five. Those are the ones that look like yellowish, no? Oh, bro. Oh, boy. 
But if you look at the bottom line, that Levy Doom, the V of Doom, kind of matches with the right side of the paper, no? So, and the M too, right? The bottom left of the M also matches. Hmm. What if I use the candle on the paper? <gasps> because the other one was burned. Oh, that's so smart. No! The heat from the candle has revealed a set of letters painted with invisible ink. Uh, no. Now they are both burned. So, 6145. Ladies and gentlemen, we got 6145. 6. Oh, it clicked there, no? One, four, oh, use. <laughs> it is empty. Wait, this is not a safe, but an entrance to a passage. It is completely dark. The only way to know where it leads is by crawling in. Oh, shit. Crawling in the darkness. Oh, what is this? Four chairs forming a circle, as if the hideout serve of some sort of meeting place. Mathematic formulae written fast and carelessly. Some of these symbols I have never seen before. What is this machine? Oh, what the fuck? Is that thing? A strange machine built out of good steel and glass. I wonder what its function could be. Is this a person or just a mannequin or something? Nah. There is someone sitting here wearing a horrible mask and a jello robe. He's not moving. It is only a jello robe. There is nobody inside at all. At all. What can be the meaning of this? They, they, were, they knew we were coming. It was, uh, it was just a high, you know? Oh, we got the mask now. Oh shit! Me alone! I don't believe! You can imagine it, stop. Bye, bye, bye. Leave me alone. The I was some Spanish brain there, no? Or like Latin, but from a Spanish person. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Do we have a mask? I could not interact with that person, so I don't think we can do anything with it. I'm gonna go back and check again, though. I cannot. We're chilling? Oh, he's not here anymore. What? The text is complete smudge. I cannot read it. Okay. A military medal. There is a relief of Her Majesty the Queen and several pieces of metal engraved with the names of battles unknown to me. Bro, do you guys have that two pixels? Two pixels shiny. I was like, wait, what is this? This must be for the military guy at the asylum, no? I'll take this with me. Maybe it will mean something to one of Alexander's fellow patients in the hospital. Bro. If you don't take this, you cannot progress. That's crazy, no? Okay, you have to pay attention to everything. And sure, it, 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 like, it, it comes out of the background, right? It, like, it catches your eye, but at the same time, it's hard to see. Okay, I don't know what to do. The only thing we can do for sure is the metal thingy. Is that gonna help us somehow? Let's go back. Okay. What is the mask for? 
Alright, let me check on this guy. See if he's still here. Yeah, yeah, good. I haven't taken him yet. So we are his he can be outside like that, huh? He could escape. My goodness! Yeah, she's still reading the newspaper. Hello, sir. I got this. Are you a brave soldier? This medal. I had one years like this. I got it after the battles of Lang's Neck and Majuba Hill in 8081. A decade ago now. For distinguished conduct in the field, it said. What a farce. So you were in the army, as I thought. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Wakefield. Sergeant William Comhill, Her Majesty 6th Light uh, Infantry. Are you another one of, the, of those alienists? Do, do you doctors not realize that cowardice cannot be cured by your arts? Uh, why are they keeping you here? The doctors say I suffer from a nervous disorder. So this is before PTSD was another thing, no? I guess. Like diagnosed. Uh, I believe this is a term for when they themselves, with all their learning, do not know what to say. But I know the true name of my sickness. It is pure cowardice. I'm looking for a former... It's like they're talking each about their own story. I'm looking for a former patient of this hospital. You may have met him. His name is Alexandre Dupre. Yes. I didn't know a man by that name. We met briefly. He was here when I arrived. Hmm. What do you know about him? He was a proper lad. Educated. He listened closely to the stories of the older inmates. But he kept his own to himself. We talk a lot. He was very close to Mrs. Conne. I'm guessing the Conne is the lady. I think they got here at the same time. But when he left, he died. He did so long. Uh, I wonder what uh, has begun with him since. Hmm. Who is this Miss Conne? She is the patient here. The lady with a temperance character. You may have encountered her already. She has not been uh, the same since Mr. Dupre left. You know. She always sits to the side, alone and silent. I doubt you could talk to her at all. Even if you tried, she sees things. Or at least she thinks she does. Holy. What did you talk about, you and Mr. Dupre? We talk about my time in the south in the south of Africa. I don't like to talk about that, but he somehow made me want to. He was persuasive. He was very interested in one specific story. Almost obsessive about it. He wanted to know every little detail. Hmm. How can this be related to the veil? Could you tell me that story? I'm trying to find a patient of mine who has gone missing. And this could be my only hope of finding him. I don't like to relieve those memories. A missing patient, you say? Ah, alright. Maybe my story will be so uh, of some use then. It happened during the Battle of Maju Majuba Hill. I'm sure you have heard of it in March of 81. Uh, the attack of the Boer army had taken us by surprise, and our regiment was forced to split up. We quickly found ourselves alone, just a few men lost on the barren plain. But I don't want to bore you. No, sir, you certainly aren't. Please continue. Oh. Flashback story? As I said, we were few, and we were sure the enemy was lurking out there. In the cold air of dusk, a thick fog formed quickly, masking everything around us. We could barely see each other. I can move. The then the other started to disappear in the fog. Which was getting thicker. Where is everyone? I could see here the footsteps for a while, then nothing. I called her. Bro, I cannot read in time! Hello? I'm not even moving or clicking anything, by the way. He was calling their names, and they wouldn't respond, I guess. I felt something in there, not far. I remember a beating, something alive, waiting. What is that? Did these people here also know about the veil and they opened it somehow or something? Oh, 
All of a sudden, my feet felt something in the mood. A body. They were all there. They... What the hell? They're all dead, dead here. How do they survive? What the? What is that? The mist clear out. What? What, ha what had happened? I never knew of certain. I didn't see anything, or if I did, my mind refused to bear such memories. What happened to Captain Skid? He finally regained consciousness. It was like someone else looked out at us through his eyes. I guess whatever happened affected him, changed him. I know he came back to London. Mr. Dupre had asked me of his whereabouts. Maybe he tried to contact him to hear the rest of the story. He was quite preoccupied by it. Hmm, do you know where I can find Captain Skid? The last I heard from, uh, from fellow veterans, he had lost himself through a frenzy of alcohol, opium, and bad company. This downward spiral led him, as many others, to a wretch nadir? Nadir? What is that? A dirty hole, uh, deep in Sand Gill's rookery, known as the Crimson Nest. Mayhap you will find him there, alive even, if you're lucky. Here, this is a picture of a regiment, you can see him there. Okay, we have a new location, Sand Gill's. We have a photograph to inspect it. Okay, so we have to show this to him. What about the Jew lady? Miss Connie is very upset. Please do not distress her any farther. What is her reaction? The mask? Bro, if I show her the mask, she's gonna have a heart attack, no? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, she wants to strangle me. She knows. This is nice legend one for you this time, madame. Let me go. The face of the player wraith! So that's what the mask mask is. The player play wraith? Huh. And they took her to the, I'm sorry. Miss Khan. I'm sorry. Oh, she's not running the news repair anymore. That poor woman! They must have taken her to the isolation guard. Okay. Wait, does that mean this is open now? Let's check over here. Oh, this is open now. Light. It flows the war with shades. Should we go here? I hope they don't take me. Oh boy. Why is it so dark? Nah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Everything is why is everything open? Room 104. Oh. Wait, where where did they tell us they were keeping Alexander? It was one it was 108. So if this is 04, this must be 03, I guess. The hell? Not much light managed to reach this room. Hello? Hello, my name is Wickfield. The butterfly is not what it seems. Excuse me, but what butterfly? There is more after the scarab. It looks like a fly, but it's not. Is he talking about the cards? Wait, 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 wait. He said butterfly, scarab. Oh, this is the butterfly. This is a scarab. And this is the fly. And then the mask, no? Okay. Should I show them to him? Hello? Do you look. This is the butterfly you talk about. It displays this wonderful colors. Fills your eyes with awe. 
but this is all I show. Behind the veil, its body crawls on the dirty ground, hidden in the darkness and transforms another of its lives. So what will this be? Its dark body creates creaks and wrestles with its blind movements. Slowly, step by step, it gets closer and closer and closer and closer. What about this one? Are these hints for something? Because I'm not catching it. Uh, come. It will come. Whatever you do, it will cry out loud. Looking at you from uh, everywhere at the same time. What about this one? Him. Him? His mask. My mate from the other room used to scream at night. Always told us he could feel something under his bed. A presence. An eyeless gaze. How do I continue with my life after that? So we need to look under the bed now. Oh boy. I don't want to. Bro, this is scary much. I'm not actually scared. Okay, there's no one here. Bro, this camera, no? Hello? An old pendant on the dresser. It looks valuable. Joink? <laughs> so we got a pendant. Where's from one of the patients or something. No? I don't know what to keep going. Are they banging on this door? No, it's over there. Oh, nice room. An expensive looking piece of furniture. There is nothing on it. An impressive painting of a lovely maiden. It is equipped with a fitting, magnificent frame. A mirror covered in dust. I wonder what things had he has seen in this room. Oh no. Could this be the room of the patient's mate? Who was afraid of a present under his bed? Nah. Look under the bed, guys. Oh! Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Okay, I'm not gonna go there yet. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going this way. So this is 108. This is the Alexander room. A bunch of bricks. Either the construction is recent and not yet finished, or they are or they were in a hurry to seal this room. The door is closed uh, for good with bricks, like they were pretending it never existed. They didn't even try to disguise it. The play wraith. The door is shut and locked. There is no way to open it. So this is a uh, con, you know? I'm sorry. She's repeating the same thing. Okay, let's go through the hole. It will come after us. No! Don't say that. Oh boy. Can I even go in there? Oh, this is the room. The door is bricked out. Why would they do such a thing? The window is sealed too. Almost no light can reach the room. I doubt anyone has slept in this place in a long time. Something on the wall, no? There is something written on the wall. One of them came last night. I knew what it, uh, I knew what it actually was because of the sign it carried. The sign of the eye. I killed it and hid it well. If more come, they will not find their friends, nor its eye. What? What did you hide? From it? Oh shit, it seems one of the tiles is loose. <gasps> so you had to walk around the room to find that. Oh damn. I cannot get it out with my bare hands. It's too heavy. Maybe the metal. Some metal? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. There is something there, half buried in the soil under the tile. What is it? 
or a crow carrying something. It's a long dead bird, just feathers and bones. Take it. It is holding something on its beak, in its beak. Uh, what the f A dirty and horrible deformed glass eye. What? Can I combine that with a pendant? No. An eye. What do we do with that? With a mask? Hmm. Let's go visit the captain's kid. Stop it. Okay. I'm just expecting some jump scare at this point or something, but this game doesn't have many of those moments, you know, but when they have it, you don't expect it and then it gets you. It's cool. It's good. They don't do them too often, so you never know when they're coming. <sighs> okay, let's go. Here. New place. We're still in the first episode, by the way. This is the slum of St. Gills. The current on nest should be shouldn't be far. This is the same street from the nightmare. Is he not gonna mention that? Where this limping person came to talk to us. So we had a premonition, no? This man, he looks like the man from a nightmare. He's, a, he's blind in one eye. The empty socket glistens in the lamp light. He seems to want something from me. In my dream, the man had said, give me back what he took. The eye, no? So the crow took his glass eye? Oh, uh, what? Who is this guy? Hmm. In the first game, there was this chapter called The Four Witnesses, right? Um, and then we found a piece of paper with all the names of the four. And one name was Hugo. And his name was Scratch. And we never seen that name before, so I wonder who that person is. Because it was part of the ritual that they did at the school, you know? And this must be the Crimson's Nest. I have heard of such places where people lose their minds to opium ship from the Orient. I never thought I would set foot in one. The Tribune. Oh, hello. Ooh, Please, wake up, dear. Please wake up. Uh oh. Please don't do this. Too much opium. An, ad an addict completely asleep. What is the matter, madam? My husband, he's unconscious. Please, dear, wake up. I'm a doctor. Let me see him. I'm so sorry. He is not breathing and he has no pulse. Your husband passed away hours ago. No, no, he can't be. Madam, I'm late. This time I couldn't save him. What do you mean this time? I discovered my husband's addiction to this hellish drug they, cal they call opium months ago. At first, I thought he was sick, and I saw him grow thinner every day. Then I discovered he was visiting this place. I was very worried. I tried to dissuade him, but he wouldn't listen. The addiction was stronger than he was. At times, he was away for days. I'll come here and find him passed out. The only way I could, have, uh, I could wake him uh, was to put these melon salts under his nose. Now, it's too late. Here, take the vial. Maybe you will be in time to save another soul from this curse. 
So we need to use the salts or the vial to wake someone up. Uh, let's keep uh, checking around here. A woman looking at the roof with her eyes wide, going white. She must, she's muttering some rumblings. What is this thing on the ceiling? The musician is intoxicated with the drag smoke that fills the air. The repeated arrangement gives the sensation that time flows slowly. Oh, so he's the one playing the music, huh? <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. A short hair woman smoking without worry. Blaze it. A man lying on his back. He's breathing raspy and liar with plaguing and other liquids. The smoke has eaten away his lungs. With his lungs. This young cavill seems to have come here together to enjoy this despicable vice. This is the captain guy. Hello. I'm looking for a man who I believe frequents the establishment. A war veteran from the South of Africa called Skip. He is writing on a slate. Uh, can you understand what I'm saying? He has written can't hear, so I suppose I should communicate with him by writing on the slate. Oh, okay. Maybe he's deaf. Looking for Captain Skip. Don't know. This is another captain's name then. Do I show him the, the photo? He has written something else. Object of value. What does he mean by that? So he needs uh, maybe the pendant, no? Maybe he needs uh, some some money to for him for the info. Okay, fine. Get the pendant. Bro, now he knows. Now he knows him. I don't think he likes me much. I should worry. Okay. Oh, this guy. A table with several opium pipes on top. Some of them have been used recently. A Chinese screen with a floral ornament. Wake up! It is Captain Skip, no doubt. He's unconscious, but he still breathes. Wake up, man! Sniff that shit. <gasps> you okay? What's the matter? Who let you in? Get out! My name is Wakefield. I need to talk to you. Are you Captain Skip? Her Majesty's Six Light Infantry. That lit title belongs to me no more. Who are you? And what do you want from me? Leave me alone with my misery. A soldier that used to serve under your command told me I might find you here. William Conhill. Yes, I remember him. We served together. I had made many mistakes trying to forget those years of my life. Now I'm afraid those memories will follow me to my grave. I'm looking for information about a man called Alexandre Dupre. I used to know Dupre. He was not a man, but a, a fiend. What do you want with someone like him? There are certain secrets that are better left undisturbed. Uh, a patient of mine has disappeared. Alexandre is the only man, uh, the only one that knows his whereabouts. If this is true that Dupre is involved in your patient's disappearance, then I'm afraid the matter is out of my reach. Yours too now. Please leave me alone. Uh, have you ever heard the name Jeremiah Devitt? I must find him. Devitt? No, I have not. I found your medal. It was in uh, on a house in Paul Street, door 26. You were there, right? You think you know what you are doing, but you cannot imagine what you are getting into. I am asking you for the last time. Leave and forget this matter. I will not leave until I find the answers I'm seeking. Tell me what I want to know. You fool. That's... Ah, for the devil's sake. Alright, if you want to ruin your life, you're afraid to do it. Oh shit, he's gonna talk. He's gonna talk. What really happened on Majuba Hill? Sergeant Kong Hill told me the story. But his details were confusing. I'll never be able to forget that day. Nobody knew what really happened. Command decided that we must have been ambushed. 
Now I know better. There was something in that fog. Something that did not like us entering its domain. A sentinel of some sort. That thing is what killed my soldiers. Ooh. How did you meet Alexandre Dupre? I was in the veterans hospital recovering from an illness unknown to the physicians. An ailment of the soul. Dupre managed to contact me there. He wanted to know my version of the story. What had happened to me in the battle of Majuba Hill. Ooh. Do you know why he was and uh, why was he so interested in your story? I didn't even know immediately, but with time I realized the truth about what happened to me was important to his activities, as was I myself. But if you think he tricked me, you could not be more wrong. I went I, I wanted to enter the dragon's mouth. A bird without need to know. Oh boy. What was Mr. Dupress doing then? You really don't know, do you? Have you ever heard of the play play riff? Bro, I don't know how to say that word. I don't even know what that is. Huh? What is happening? Uh as I imagine. You know nothing. Dupre is not alone. He is but the peak of a pyramid, a vast group on in which powerful people take part. Hmm. A society acting in secret, ruled by a single sacred law. See that no one knows. I was part of it. Dupre himself recommended me. Hmm. We gather every month. What we saw, you cannot imagine. A curtain of normalcy protects the mind from something, an outer something. The fog of the veil protected us. But through the veil, we could peek into the abyss. We could know of the unspeakable shapes that writhe beyond. A black nothingness, entirely full of horrors. We could never cross the threshold. What we saw was forbidden. Look at me! Forgiven! Forbidden. I could not bear it. Uh, I could not bear it anymore. So I ran. I ran and hid from them. You gotta hide from the eye of the bird. It was too late to run or to forget. Ooh. Okay, that is a lot of info. I must go back to East Hill and try to talk to Miss Connor. If what the captain said is true, she must have been one of them. She couldn't know where to find them. Okay. Let's go back. How are we gonna talk to her though? Oh, what the f Uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I cannot do this anymore. I don't care. I just want to, us to be together. Do you, know, you know it's too hard? I don't feel... I know the air. I know. We'll figure it out. How are you home so early? I knew you all alone. How cool are you? It's like cheating on them. You know you never love each other. Silence. You have no honor. And you? What do you have to say? Why? I've given you everything. You will understand. I... Enough! You'll leave in the morning. I will see you ever again. I'll wait for you at dawn, under the old windmill. So you can try to recover what little honor you ha once had. I'll be there. Huh? What is happening? 
They were like animal masks, no? In the first game, we also saw like a painting of two guys with a rat mask or something. So are these are all these people part of the same freaking cult? What is going on? I must have fainted. What is it? Where am I? Wait, what? We went from the crimson nest to here without knowing how we got here? Oh boy. That is not good. They took away my mask as well. I cannot see outside clearly. Did they drag me? A matchbox? Oh no. This could be useful. Matches. There's a blanket on the bed. I'm taking a shred of this blanket. Bro, I'm glad. I'm, this is why in these kind of games, guys, you have to click on everything. Even if you see, it may seem redundant. Or like a loss of time. But imagine I don't get this. And I'm looking around like, oh, there's a hole behind the chair as well. An old piece of furniture. There are marks in the dash on the floor. It looks like this chair has been moved recently. Shifting this chair reveal a small dark hole in the wall. Same thing again. I'm telling you guys. The door is shut for good and it has no knob. No keyhole even. Who's doing this to me? Can I even fit through that hole? Small in the wall. It's dark to see inside. Let's use the matches. This match is too short. I cannot stretch my hand in further. Uh, either to see what lies beyond the hole. So maybe we lit this on fire. Yeah. Okay. I'll swear I saw a pair of feet in there. The oh, freak? Who who's there? We have met before. I cannot see you. Who are you? Do you not recognize my boys? This is Miss Connie. Eh? No, I'm sorry. I do not. Do you know what this place is? It is the starting point. The first place to look. Huh? But who are you? What are you doing there? Remember this. I will not be here forever. Darkness will light your way. Stay out of the light. Stay out of the light. Then I'll disappear. And you'll be alone in the end. I don't understand. Tell me who you are. What? Where do I go? I can hear breathing behind the wall. Darkness will light. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, the bed? I must take it with me. What am I taking? Oh, the blanket. So I guess we cover the window, right? Because we need darkness. Oh. oh. Now I can leave. I have no lamp, no lights, nothing. Oh, David! David, is that you? David! Am I on drugs? <laughs> I'm a trippy. Probably, no? The four chairs. Is David okay? Oh my fucking god. Tell me. Why are you doing this? It is because you care about your patients? Or out of scientific curiosity. 
Is it for your pride? Because it is your professional responsibility. Or is it because it is the right thing to do? Mm, why are you doing this? <gasps> oh, Kaufman. No, damn it! It is alright. Mainly, friend. How are you feeling? I feel dizzy. What happened? Where are we? At my house. I went to Isil to meet you and found you inside one of the cells. I'm conscious your close sentient of opium smoke. Oh. I had you brought here. You have been out for a day and a half. I think it's coming back to me. I was uh, at one of those opium dens. I might have passed out after breathing that dense smoke. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Excuses. You smoke that shit, bro. Listen, I have much to tell you. Invest my investigation unheard a great deal of a new information. Alexandre was indeed an institutionalized in ECL, but his files were uh, missing. I managed to track to track down a man who knew him. He told me a story you will not believe. And there was this woman, a patient at the hospital. He was completely out of her mind. She attacked me. What is happening to these people, Kaufman? How is this Alexandra related to Mr. Debit? I think this patient, Miss Connor, might know who, how to find Alexandra. We must go back there and talk to her, whatever it takes. I'm afraid that will, be not, that will not be possible. What do you mean? Fra Cogne is no longer at this hill. She escaped last night. Whoa. God Almighty. Don't worry, man friend. I think I may know where she's hiding. Get ready. He must leave promptly. How did she escape? Oof. Where are we going now? Oh, I have to walk. <laughs> They're coming. They're letting him in. Him in. Now that the door has been opened, they are coming. Oh, that's so cool, no? Oh my goodness. So it was us banging on the door. And she was boarding because of the crows. Episode 2. Previously on the last door. We just saw it. But I'm gonna leave it like. If you want to read it. I must forget nothing. Everything must be set. I took it like a rope or something, no? Like a mine? When the time comes... And I am visit again. Oh, it put explosives. What? Who's that character? Hmm. I really like the storytelling um, aspect of these games. The way they do like flashbacks, 
and go forward and back. It's not too many times, but it's like perfect to combine the story and tell you in a good order, I would say. Because it keeps the mystery so well. Like giving you a glimpse of what happened, or maybe something that will happen, you know, like the dream, the, pro uh, the uh, prophecies kind of things. For a moment, the sky was dark. We heard the calls of a thousand birds, but another sound rose above them. A sound I cannot describe. Oh! What? What just happened here? Where is Miss Connie? We are too late. It is ashes. Hmm. Chalk. A circle drawn hastily on the floor. She thought it could prevent what she knew was about to happen. But she was wrong. It's like a protection circle, no? The windows are covered with wooden planks. It looks as if she were, uh, she were trying to keep someone from entering. Or f something from getting out. <laughs> I do not know what to make of all of this. I do. Kaufman. He knows something. He's an expert on the occult. So. Train? <coughs> I want to know where David is, man. Like, I don't mind following the Wakefield story, but. And you're right, Kaufman. It is not the main friend. Is that like my friend, right? Uh, just a bit uh, of a cold. Now, my friend, I think we should talk. In light of the events we have recently witnessed, the matter cannot be delayed any further. You must make an important decision. It is not yet too late to go back to our daily lives. If you do not want to continue, you must forget all about your patient Jeremiah David. You'll have to keep to yourself everything you have learned about the mystery of her, his disappearance and never talk about it again. But should you wish to continue this search, you will need to accept the consequences, whatever they may be. Please do not take this decision lightly. The path ahead is not without peril. You know my answer is already, Coffin. I must know what happened to David. So be it then. As you may have realized already, this matter involving your patient transcends the limits of psychiatry as we know it. We are not dealing with the effects of a trauma or the demons of the subconscious, at least not in the terms we are used to. We are dealing with something old, something dark, a sinister truth that has been buried deep for generations. This man, Alexander Dupre, and his organization, I think they seek to uncover the secrets. These secrets. And I fear they might have already. Miss Connie's fate, whatever it was, must be related somehow. But my knowledge of this area is simply not sufficient. We must pay a visit to an old friend. Someone I never thought I would want to see again. The man who introduced me to the extended scientific field of the occult. My mentor, Professor Adam Wright. Kaufman Mentor? This is gonna be interesting. Season 2, Episode 2, Maduris uh, Visitor. Weak Port. Wright and Manor. I guess. I miss visiting a manor. Classic. I doubt he's away at this time of the day. Perhaps he cannot hear us from the front. Let's us, uh, let us try the back door. Oh, yeah. If you enter through the back door, he will definitely notice you. Miss Ogood, she's the man herself, Skipper. Yes, who is it? Good morning, Mrs. Uh, Oakwood. Do you remember me? Why, Dr. Kaufman? Bless my soul. It's been so long I hardly recognize you. 
How nice to see you again. Allow me to introduce my college, Dr. John Wakefield. is the professor at home. You would like to see him. Why, yes, doctor, of course. I am quite forgetting myself. Let me take you to him. It is really good of you to come. He receives so few visitors these days on account of his condition. His condition? Oh, sir. I am right sorry. I thought you knew. The professor? He suffers from an ailment afflicting his brain. He is now entirely confined to his bed. Oh, everyone's getting sick here. Your prayers are right. You have visitors. One of them is your old friend. Look, look, do you recognize him? It is Johan, professor, your old pupil. I reckon he does remember you, Johan. It's been a long time since he has been since, since I have seen him so excited. I'll leave you to, to, to talk to the professor. It may be difficult to keep him one subject for long, but oh, it does him such a world of good to speak with all friends. Should you need my assistance, I'll be in the backyard. Oh, this is the guy we saw putting the, the, the explosives on the mine, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Professor? Uncle James, you're back. It is I, Professor John Kaufman. What is father? Where has he been taken? Hmm. He suffer, suffers from some kind of memory loss. Yes, I'm afraid we will not tell as much in this state. If we could but stimulate his memories, maybe then he could tell us of his research, something to unravel the mystery of the playwright. Perhaps. We, may, uh, we have few other options in any case. Let us try. Why don't you explore the manor? There may be there may be some object we can use to jog the professor's memory. Meanwhile, I'll try and talk to him about the time we researched together. That could also help him remember. Okay. Let's find something. Please, Professor, talk to me. Wardrobe. Isn't this similar to the room we woke up before? <laughs> or am I tripping? Remains of a fix on the window as though he were waiting for someone. The snow is falling outside, slow and silent. Father. Okay. Oh, puzzle time! Hinting of the ocean at the end of the atrium, there is a figure in black on the beach, but his face is shrouded by a hood. Lamp provides a soft glow that somehow lacks warmth. It's locked. The sign of the knob reads attic. An engraving on paper. The script is from a language unknown to me. When they say the door had an engraving, I was like, oh, this is gonna be reasonable now. And we find do I have to find specific keys? Old painting shows an obscure medieval scene. This one is open. An old stone tower depicted in the painting. Four vines are have slithered across the entrance, forming a swarming blockade that almost seems to come alive when stirred at for too long. You know, I like checking the paintings because sometimes they describe places or stuff that then we may visit, you know? So maybe I go to the tower later with the vines. I'm like, oh, this is the painting we're selling for, you know? You never know, so it's good to check. <clears throat> Bathroom. A guild pipe. It runs from the floor to the ceiling. Though I see myself in the mirror, the reflection is strangely distorted. Hmm? A large porcelain top. Its hefty weight supported on four blackened iron feet. A thin ring of damp residue around its interior suggests recent use. A common radiator. Okay, so in the bathroom there is a pipe, a bathtub, a mirror. Maybe we have to do something similar to that puzzle in the first game, where something fell down the pipe, remember? Oh, nice. Nice manhole. What a mansion! A porcelain jar containing some dried branches. 
an enormous painting showing a torrential river in the waves splashing on the banks. In the background, I can see an old church, apparently abandoned. Portrait of Professor Wright. His appearance was quite different back then, an imposing inquisitive figure. So this is open, this is open as well. There is a second floor. And this is the entrance. I like starting from the beginning, you know? So let's go. Oh, so this is to go to a different place. Cool. <clears throat> a fierce lion damaged by the harsh weather in, of the coast. Its head is missing. Uh, that was one of the coast. So this one is missing the head. Okay, maybe that's important. It's a fountain. There is a strange ornament on the wall. I think I can move it. Sure. Wait, what? Oh, so it's a ball. So this is tower. Let's leave it like it was before. <laughs> For now. Let's go to the backyard. Uh, let's talk to Mrs. Oakgood. May I ask you something, Mrs. Oakgood? Of course, Doctor. How did the professor become afflicted? The ailment runs in his family. Mr. Wright suffers from it, as did his father and grandmother before him. It is truly a terrible thing. And to think all these years Mr. Wright knew what would become of him. May God have pity on his poor soul. <clears throat> oh, let me do that. I want to ask her about the, the symptoms. Uh, this ailment that, ran, that runs in Professor Wright's family, do you know what his symptoms are? Well, I can speak those very long words physicians use, but I can't tell you what I've seen in him. Professor Wright hardly remembers a thing from the last 40 years. It is like it's a shot again. With God's mercy, it has now gone so far that it turns on him no longer. Okay, so basically memory loss. Maybe he has like uh, Al 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 Alzheimer's, you know? <coughs> but on the 80s, they didn't know about that. A clear of ice covers the Pool of water. Okay, so this is a fountain. This oak tree looks ancient, probably older than the manor itself. Wait, what is this? Oh. The queen has removed her mask. There is an empty hole where her face should be. The study portrays a clergyman hiding his face behind a mask. When the four remove their mask of lies, the path to the grave will be clear. <clears throat> so I need to remove their masks. Okay. The sage has removed his mask. There is an empty hole where the face should be. The study portrays a peasant woman with her face hidden by a mask. Okay, so we have the queen and the sage removed. And then the peasant and the clergyman cover. A stiff tree. It almost seems like a statue itself. How do we remove the mask of the others? Hmm, I don't know. What if I change this ball here? Will that change something? Let's test it. There is many other places on the manor that we can look. But... Let's try this. Let's see if this does something. Just trying to connect the puzzles at this point. Not well, everything seems the same. No, never mind. The the stage is having his face now. So now it's three out of four. What the hell is that? 
The central statue portrays a cloaked figure holding a clay vessel. The vessel has a small hole in it. It is large enough to see a metal object hidden inside. <gasps> well, I'm glad I checked that, no? Take it! Maybe I cannot reach it. Yeah, maybe it's too high. Okay. But we surely have to take that item, no? So we know that changes that. Okay, let's go back to the manor. Let's explore the rooms inside. Wait, was there a room upstairs? No, we check. <clears throat> we check uh, the bathroom already. The other one is closed, and then the other one is the attic. What's in here? It is locked. No hints about what is it? A sea of landscape. Oh, you see the pipe up there? This is the kitchen. So the pipe goes. The guild pipe it runs from the room at the end of the corridor to the room upstairs. So it goes this way as well. From the ground to the corridor. Is it underground or is it here? A cast iron wood, wood stove. Yeah. A bright oven. The various ingredients. The door is locked shut. A small signs read basement. Glass jar filled with spices and pickle food. Yummies. Get some pickles. Pickle, pickle. Oh, we're back up back here. Alright, cool. So basement. I wish... I think you had to do one trip. So if I go back here now... I mean, let me test my theory. So I, can, I can fast travel now. And... I can fast travel. So you had to do one trip at once at least. To fast travel the second time. Oh, nice library, no? Professor Riot has an electric collection. An eclectic collection. From all adventure novels to treatises on the cold sciences. Some of these titles, I believe, have been forbidden by the crown. The crown. A teen soldier. It looks to have been painted by hand. It commemorates some military campaign that I have not heard of. Oh, we can take it. Could it have some special significance to Professor Wright? Perhaps it will help stimulate his memories. Hey, soldier. A painting of the cliffs of this region. The fire burns fiercely, rendering the earth thick and heavily in the room. Heavy in the room. A globe. The surface is extraordinarily detailed. Judging by the strange shape of the continents, this must derive from a fictional work or some prehistoric era. What? Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a puzzle. Yep. So I had to click the directions they took. Oh my. Okay. Still don't know what they are, but. Looks like a cool puzzle. What is that noise? It is locked. I can hear the racket of many birds on the other side. Hell no. Not the birds. Why is he keeping birds there? Maybe they were attacking him or something. He did that reverse Uno card. So I'm gonna show this to Mr. Wright. See if that does something. Do you recognize this, Professor Wright? Sergeant Downey was sent to the front. A man that returned was not searching Downing. My dearest visitor, he will know where to look. Oh, what a time we will have. Your visitor? What do you mean, Professor? He will have seen the map. And he will know the Book of Travels. The Book of Travels? Yes, yes, he will work it out. But it's, it, it must not be easy, no. But who will find the prize, I'm sure. 
Price, what on earth, what on earth is he talking about, Kaufman? Something concealed, maybe something precious. In his adult state, could he have hidden away parts of his research? Hmm. He was always a proud man who will not easily have forgotten his most groundbreaking work. A sense of his great importance at least will have remained. In his confusion, perhaps he has hold it away somewhere for this dear visitor to, uh, of his to find? Why don't you explore the manor? Perhaps something will uh, relate to these latest ramblings. Meanwhile, I will continue my endeavors to revive his memory through conversation. Excuse my reading, guys. Sometimes I get really confused by some words, and then you put it in the whole sentence. My brain goes like, you know, so. So we need to find the Book of Troubles. Um... I'm gonna assume everything that was locked was still locked, but maybe on the library. Now we can find that book. Let's search. Napoleon travels so of Marco Polo. This uh, I don't read it all. There's a large volume here, quite worn. It is an illustrated edition of the Travels of Marco Polo. Perhaps this is the book of travels the professor Wright mentioned. There is a mark on one of the pages. Oh boy, here we go. We began our journey by crossing the unforgiving desert, always facing the setting sun. At last we arrived at the merciful side of the great ocean. We followed the coast north in their hope of reaching our home soon. Oh my goodness. It was not to be. The king of the land we traversed had declared war on the great Khan, so we were forced to return as we had come. We never set foot in that bloody land again. We knew there was a port just a few miles to the south where we could find a boat. Our sea voyage was short as our sails billowed with the powerful southern winds. We reached the more eastern cape and landed there, our, ba uh, our backs to the sea. <clears throat> we marched forth and some reached home. Wait, you have... I can read the book. Okay. Oh, I have I have the note here. Nice. Wait, what? Okay. So these two pages. Okay. So. <coughs> oh my goodness. First one. We began our journey by crossing the unforgiving desert, always facing the setting sun. Okay, so what's the first one? This looks like a desert, no? So this is north, east, south. So they went from... I'm going to just click around. The, so I guess they go from here to here? This is a desert, and they went west to the setting sun. No, maybe... You, I don't know, maybe it could be all this one for now. Or maybe it could be this and this. I'm not sure. <clears throat> at last we arrived at the merciful side of the great ocean. We followed the coast north in their hope of reaching our home soon. It was not to be the king of the land we traversed at the clear war in the ground, so we forced to return as we come. We never set a foot on that bloody land again. We knew there was support to feel much to the south. Where we could find a boat. So they went here, then they were here, then they went north and reached this Kingland city, you know? But then they had to go back to where they came from, right? And then they continue south. It looks like there is another, the port he mentioned is down here, no? So then they took a boat to the sea, and maybe they arrived here to the north? When it was ports a few miles to the south, where we could find a boat, right? Yeah. See, when it was short, maybe not that. As our sails below with the powerful southern winds, we reached the easternmost cape and land there, our backs to the sea. We marched forth on some rich home. I'm not sure now. Nah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try my theory. So, desert, coast, king. Go back, go to the port, go to the sea, and go there. And we got it from Strive! Oh! 
It seems to have triggered a hidden mechanism. A small compartment has opened in the globe. I like this music. <laughs> Big goofy, though. There is a sealed letter inside. <gasps> it is simply addressed to my dearest visitor. Kaufman needs to see this before it's open. Oh boy. Okay. I'm glad I saw that first. Uh, show this to this guy. <coughs> Kaufman, look! I found an envelope. It was hidden inside the glove that a strange mechanism opened. To my dearest visitor. Let us see what is inside. Exactly. This is another part of an intricate riddle. But to what purpose? To conceal something, perhaps? Or just the last acts of a confused and down, down, drowning mind? I'm increasingly of the opinion that this is some mental construct, some riddle conjured up by the professor's failing mind. He may not have been understood what he did. Come. Those seeking wisdom must first know their own foolishness. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal what the cold eye of logic sees not. A riddle? And who will that a visitor be? This is a note to me, my friend. There is only one way to answer that question. If we can find the answer to Professor's riddle, perhaps we'll be able to solve this mystery. Reflect on yourself. So that's a mirror, no? The heat of passion reveal. So we need to go here, but does that mean we have to reflect on yourself, said the riddle, and the cold eye of logic is not. Could there be something here hidden somehow? Radiator? Radiator, the bathtub. Something hidden here. <clears throat> the heat of passion. So like steam, like war, I don't know, turn on the heat, the heater or something. Something. Like trying to go through every crack. Maybe we need to turn on the the pipe from the kitchen i'm not sure like this oh there's uh mr otsuko this year now maybe am i ask you something mr otsuko of course doctor um, do you know, is the professor fond of puzzles or riddles? Indeed, yes. He has long been an enthusiast of every mind game you can imagine. In better days, he will host parties over every other month. Theme stories, he called them. And those were good times. It seems long ago now. Yeah. I'll leave you to work. Have a good day. Wait, there's something here, no? There's a matchbox here, too. Bro, that was not there before, no? Was it? Because I checked this and I didn't mention that. So I think they put this here now. So you can't... I'm gonna need these matches later on. So do I turn this on? For the heat. Oh. So now there should be like steam coming up, no? Oh man, I'm... Let's go back to the bathroom. Is anything different? Nope. Where does that go? It goes... It goes to the attic. Come on, radiator. Can you turn it on? Nope. I don't have the key for the freaking attic. What do we do? We have the matches now. So 
So. What is that for? An old teapot. It is filled with cold water. Oh, you see a new item there as well. So we need to heat the teapot, I'm guessing. There you go. So now we'll ha it should have cold water. And we'll use that on the mirror. The water cooled soon. Okay, fast. Run. A time puzzle. Hello, Polygon. Welcome. I'm doing well. Surprisingly well for my for myself. All right, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, that was a really cool puzzle. Mixing all those. It's a bit cheesy that they put new items on places you checked before. But at the same time, if you look, the texture looks different. There's like, a, you can see there is an object there you can interact, basically. So, first. Reflection on the way of passion to real knowledge that the cold eye, uh, cold eye of logic is not. Condensation from the tip of steam has revealed a hidden message. I'll add this clue to the ledger. Okay. So it's a full riddle. Knowing yourself, you may look upon your master. Meet his imposing gaze and seek to understand what lies beneath. Thereby, learn the question, if not the final answer. Tough. Ooh. The only thing that comes to my mind from this is the statue at the backyard. It's like they mentioned something about the gaze, no? Let me check that. Or maybe the painting. Oh, look upon your master with all these fuzzy gaze, but seek to understand what lies beneath. Oh my god, I'm so glad I checked the painting. Because I was just going for it and, I, and then I saw it. As I suspected, there is a small key tapped to the back of the picture frame, and a note. I'll add this clue to the letter. Nice. The question is the world from the... Wait, wait, wait. The question is the world from the peak of man's tallest tower. The answer journeys up to it from the root of life and, it, and time itself. What the... Fruit? Holy star could be the attic. The root of life could be that tree we saw in the backyard. And time itself, I have no idea what that is. Or the tower could also be that rotating ball we saw outside that had like a tower icon. Golden key. Alright, well, let's check the doors. Key doesn't fit in this keyhole. Hey, the attic. There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, a shelf covered in old ornaments. Pieces of metalwork and pipes of strange shape. Some kind of round mechanism. Oh, damn. That's another one of these. So that's a crow. And uh, two circles and dots. I don't know what that is. I mean, that's a crow singing, no? It's like notes. Okay, let's switch it. So I'm guessing maybe each of these changes one mask of those statues on the back here, you know? So you have to put four of them in position. Okay, let's switch this one. See which one change. Oh. An unusual electrical device. I'm unfamiliar with this function, but I can tell that there is a piece of equipment missing. There's uh, two dials. It's like a gramophone, no? Okay. So this one has three positions, and this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need to put something here. Maybe a battery or. Something. I don't know. Okay. Oh. The answer journeys up 
to it from the very root of life and time itself. I should check if there's something hidden near that tree. Since the statue portrays a cloak figure holding a clay vessel. Oh, we can see here that if the masks are on or not. So the queen, her face is hidden now. This one is hidden as well. All of all of them. Okay. Is there anything else here? So if we switch this, it's good, no? Oh, that's cool. That from here you can check the puzzle. The queen has to remove her mask. Nice. So that one we leave it like that, and then we check on the tree. Okay, let's go. And we also need to find that piece of uh, nothing back here. That uh, machine piece that is missing. Let's check on the tree. Oh, this is cool. I like how this whole chapter is like a riddle from this guy that is losing his mind, but he's still trying to help this dearest visitor. It looks as though something has been concealed beneath the thick roots. Another note and a key bound together. I'll add this clue to the letter. Then, then you will be ready to climb to the tallest heights and from there to look down to the deepest roots. So, so that's what we did. No, we were in the attic and then we came here. Okay. It is a truth. Our ancestors knew, and with stone silence came to unknown. What? Engraved with the shape of a feather. Oh no. Is this gonna be for that room with the birds inside? Wait, also let me check something. He then hid hiding hidden so that's i think we have to change this ball as well i think this one has to be this one unless we change something later and it reverses or something but pretty sure this one is uh the sage has removed his mask so now two out of four yeah. Maybe we need to remove the snow, no? Can we remove the snow somehow? No, no. Let's use the key for now. It's not this one, right? He doesn't fit here. I'm pretty sure it is... Uh, it's gonna be this room. Ah, not the birds. Oh, boy. Do I want to go there? Maybe they are in cages. Oh, they're in cages. Okay. Oh, so many birds here, no? Inside this cage, there is a bird with a black head and orange breast. The sign reads, Pirula, Pirula. Oh, bro. There's gonna be a puzzle with the birds? A truth our ancestor knew and through the stone silence came to a no. So this is part of the... There is a small compartment in the base of the bus. What? Inside this is a note. Okay, so we solved the riddle. That only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror. What? Primal horror? What? The only by entering. The only. That only. What? Inside the cage, there is a crow with black and gray feathers. The sign reads Corvus Cornix. There's different birds. There is a small bird with black and white wings and a feather crest. The sign reads Upupa Epops. 
Am I supposed to know which bird I have to do something like should I free them or something? This bird is black with a yellow beak. The sign on its head reads Turdus Merula. The bird side has gray breast and brown wings. Passer domesticus. There's one cage cover, no? Right here, where my finger is. I'm sorry I'm covering a little bit, but you, you guys should see it. A curious bird with long legs. The sign on the cage is Porfirio Aleni. There is a bird with a, a, a pale brown breast inside this cage. The sign reads Lucinia Megarinchos. Megarinchos? Megarinchos? Something like that. I'm gonna check that one the last. A bird with red feathers on its head and breast. Eritacus rubecula. An embroid embroidered cloth covers this cage. On it, it is written. If these, if the birds are silent, the phrase trails off. What? The bird inside this cage has yellowish brown feathers. The sign of the cage reads. Carduelis flavidostris. What the fuck? <laughs> so I need to cover a certain bird. I mean, I could do trial and error, right? But that'll be boring. Or maybe you have to cover them in order. That'll be that'll be rough. Hell brown breast. Long legs. I don't know, guys. I literally don't know. Let me go outside. Hmm. I don't, I don't understand that riddle. Hamish had those streams sometimes. Oh, I see. I mean, if you're doing that on your own time, I just stream. All right, sure. Some company while you do it. But not my thing. Oh, you guys see that? The lion was the answer. Probs is shaking around. There is something hidden in the lion's mouth. A lever. Are you serious? I got that by pure luck. I think it has triggered some mechanism inside the manor. There is also a note in here. I'll add this clue to the letter. So, wait, wait, wait. The only one entering the National Jewel Primer. So that the answer for that one was the lion's mouth. That's crazy. Will you at last know truth? Could this be the last part of the riddle? Oh my goodness. Still remain sharp. I got two solutions, but pure luck. That is crazy. Alright, so something activated, apparently. I wonder why. Maybe a door that was closed open. Basement still closed. Yeah. Uh, there's another door here. This one's still close to There was that door upstairs the first one on the right that was locked as well Maybe that's open now. No Build Lego stream already. Nah, I don't even have Lego pieces so Everything is the same Maybe in the bird's room. Oh! There's a secret passage that's open at the end of the corridor. Yeah, this was not here before. I was gonna say. <gasps> secret room! This looks like Professor Wright's archive. I should bring Kaufman here at once. Well, okay, okay. Now we're talking. Must be vital information here. Experiments, 1885. Let us see. 
Hmm, have a look at this. Be careful, there is a small key inside the folder. First August 1885, result at last. After many months of tedious observations, something has finally come from the other side. I heard the sound of footsteps exploring the proximity of the stone archway. This will seem to verify my hypothesis. Absolute horror is the key that we seek. So... Oh, we, remember guys the Africa story of those soldiers? They must have been in fear, right? With the fog around and everything. So maybe horror, making the other person feel horror, is the key. Hmm. 20th September 1885. Now that we have proven themselves useful, I have installed two new devices in the outer tunnels. I dare not go deeper. I have not heard it again, but I know the things must be still down there in the dark. Is he talking the devices in the tunnels? You guys remember the intro of this episode where he was like trying to break into those tunnels? I think he's talking about the same place. And there's something there, no? no. 12th November 1885. Containment in the underground tunnel has been breached. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gone. 15 December. December. I have no choice but to abort the experiment. I, it can no longer be controlled. There is but one thing left to do. I will seal the tunnel and hope that the abomination remains forever and tomb within. Ho, ho, ho. So there is something there. An abomination. What? What is this supposed to be? It seems to be a log that the professor kept during one of his, exper one of his experiments. Almost seven years ago. It is not worth it that one of the entries has been redacted. But uh, what is written in there? I, it cannot be true. It must be some kind of hallucination. A sign of Professor's right illness, maybe. Perhaps, though we should not jump to conclusions. We can conclude that the Professor had uh, another working place underground. Perhaps the key to open the basement door. Uh, perhaps that key opens the basement door. There could be a route through to this underground tunnel. Hell yeah, no, go in there, mate. I'm not going there. Meanwhile, I'll keep looking through these documents. There must be something more than the folder among this mess. Nah, bro. I have to go to the basement with the freaking underground tunnels. Are you serious? Pass of paper of all kinds. These card notes, letter, receipts, all mixed up. Many folders, they have no distinctive tag on them. What is this painting here? Uh, a set of framed silhouettes. Under each is an inscribed plaque. Plaque? Oh, is this another puzzle? Oh, boy. The abdominal snowman? Oh, no. Um, I need more water, guys. Almost two hours and a half. Yeah. Um, so you can rotate the painting with a different big silhouette. Mr. Stretchman was a well-positioned man. He fell madly in love with the younger daughter of the Bartleys, and so he proposed to her. What is this, by the way? I don't know. He's talking about Mr. Mister, so I'm going to put this guy here. Uh, Joan Agnes fancied the idea of marrying an older man, but she always hid her feelings from her mother. Maybe this woman, Agnes? Miss, Mrs. Bartley did never take her eyes off her daughter and watch them at all times. Oh, that makes sense because it's like an older woman looking at these guys. Huh? Mr. Bailey tried to show his support for their daughter, but his wife never paid any attention to him. Makes sense because she's looking away. Could be this guy too. Let's try this. Did that work? First try. Oh! A compartment has opened in the wall. 
Guys, we're... Oh, another one of these. Okay, so this one we might change. So we have a spiral and a maze. So we found three out of four of those. And now we have to go to the basement. I need to stay hydrated. True. I'm gonna go in a second. This game is so good, I just wanna keep going, you know? <laughs> I just wanna find the mystery. Okay, let me go here. I wanna check. Oh, I could have checked it from the attic. Yeah, from up here. But either the peasant or the sage. Or no, the clergyman should take the, should have the mask off now. So we have three out of four. Yep. So the last one we find, we have to switch it as well. Got it. Okay, let's go to the basement. Oh boy. I still have the cloth for the bird spasm, but I don't know how to do that. Go. It's completely dark in here. I feel a cold draft coming from the front. Matches? Oh, oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. But the matches? Oh no, they don't last long. Turn on, man! Bro, are you trolling? Thank you. Is it a tunnel? Oh, oh, oh. oh, these are Roman like columns, looks like. This is so troll. I have run out of matches. Ain't no way! Ain't no way! I'm going back. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out! Where am I? Guys. Where am I going? What is that noise? <laughs> what? I've fallen through a hole. Where am I? Oh my goodness. I thought someone was like rushing at me. I hit me or something. I have chills all over my body. The flow of air is stronger here. Take the fucking lamp. A working lantern. Take it. Now I can get out of here safely. Yeah, sure. This part of the tunnel is blocked by a cave in. The underground tunnel is not accessible from here. I should go back. Don't want to turn, guys. Don't want to turn. Oh! Thank goodness. A ladder. All right, so this looks like the place where the this guy put the explosives. So he wasn't trying to open it. He was trying to block it. Makes sense to not let that abomination out. What is that, by the way? It looks like a component of some sort of machine. Maybe I can find out where to use it. So this is the machine for the attic, no? A lever. Okay, let's go. Man, that, that was scary. When I, when I ran out of matches, I was like... Is a mechanism of some sort? Okay, maybe this is the last... Okay, there you go. So now, all door open. Now all the, all the statues should have their mask off. Please. <laughs> I just embrace more impact, you know? It's just like something is going to happen and you're like waiting for it to slap you. Salt furniture has been left here to rot. Why though? No, let's get the fuck out. If we cannot access the tunnel mentioned uh, in Professor Wright's log, how can we find the missing parts of his research? I must talk to Kaufman about this. 
I was able to use the key to explore the basement. There is a large hole in the floor. One side of the hole may lead to some sort of tunnel. But it was, it was completely covered in rocks and debris, so I could not tell for sure. Covering the debris. It sounds as if the professor succeeded in blocking the entrance to this underground area. Hmm. It is unfortunate for us. I have made some progress of my own, my friend. I think this could help us elucidate the next step in our search. Have a look. What did you find? We make a good team, no? What is that? Another letter? Today, a meeting finally took place. You see, Mr. Wright, our organization is still interested in your research. Is this Alexander? I think it is. We could reach an agreement to fund this project. But first, we need to know the details. I understand. The main factor is the condition of the text subject. How open is he to suggestion? As you know, only the human mind can open a physical passage to the other side. Wait, oh man. Did Alexander convince David to be the subject? I'm not sure. I'm just speculating. So a complete absolute darkness will be required for the exper experience to result. A secluded place, completely isolated. So the tunnels they build, no? A place that can only bring thoughts of what might be hiding in the dark. I had the perfect location in mind. But in total darkness and seclusion, how could the results of the experiment be studied or confirmed? This is precisely where your organization can provide help. I have designed a special device that will allow me to listen from a safe distance, but I lack the means to manufacture it myself. That we call a wrench. But there is one last thing I would like to know. How will the experience be triggered? By means of a chemical compound of some kind? Do you mean a serum? Not at all. That will be of no elegance whatsoever. The trigger is the mind itself. The emotion known as terror. The primal fear that still survives in the depths of our mind. From the times humans were mere beasts. That which allow us to open a physical passage beyond the veil of rational thought. Primal terror is the key that, will, that we will use to open the last door. <gasps> oh. It's getting so interesting. Man, I love these games. Who will this organization be? The player right. Player right? There you go. It may be, man, front. If so... Sorry, I'm reading wrong. Wrong boys. If so, then we're closer to the truth than we thought. But in this room, I have been able to find only some fragments of information. Discarded material. It looks as if the main bulk of documents were moved from this room and hidden somewhere else. The basement tunnel. That seems the most reasonable conclusion. But access to that place is lost, is it not? The entrance was sealed. There may be another access that we don't know about. If we could find and use the device that the professor mentioned in his logs, I believe we could shed some light on this matter. Okay, time to use the lever. So the lever must be for this. The only thing is... I don't know how... I think it will work now. Yeah. Let's... Tune the radio. Oh, that, that's good. Oh, there you go. We got it. This sound. Do my ears deceive me? Is that a piano melody? I'm a sick of man as, as one at once. Maybe we have to do this first and then we do the birds puzzle. Not to state the obvious, but it sounds as if someone is still down there, playing the piano of all things. 
So this device is picking up the, the sound from the tunnels. And sound is playing the piano in the tunnels. What the fruit? But how is that even remotely possible? I don't know, but this means something important to us. It means there is another entrance to the underground tunnel. And that we must find it. But we have run out of leads. You did not find anything of use in the archive. I mean, he did, but that's kind of mean to say, Wakefield. <laughs> he did fine. <laughs> Whatever. And Professor Wright uh, continues to matter incoherently about child childhood memories. You must hypnotize the professor, main liver friend. We are running out of options. This might be the only way to find the answers we seek. We're gonna hypnotize him the same way he did with David, no? To find hidden memories. Look at this scandal. Fix your eyes upon it. Your body is as light as a feather. Everything around you fades. You're entering a dark, endless void. Follow my finger, guys. Follow my finger. Why is it taking the candle? Listen to my voice. Where are you? A great number of trees around me. The sun is setting soon. I can go north and west. Trees around me. The sun is setting soon. I can go north and west. How do I, am I supposed to where to know? Go elsewhere. <laughs> sun is setting soon. I'm gonna go west since he's mentioning the sunset. So we go west. I am on the beach. There is a huge rock here. Many birds circle in the sky overhead. I'm gonna take that as progress. Maybe this puzzle, but this is not even a puzzle. Maybe you just pick random directions and something happens. I don't know. Yeah. To the north, I see the shore. To the west, there is a person. Let's go to the person, no? As soon as I approach, the figure darts between the rocks. I thought they were frightened of me. Go back. So back on the beach. The shore. Alright, let's go to the shore. Why are they scared of you? I stand beside the shore. The water wets my shoes. And all around me like the wrecks of ships. To the north, something floats in the water. To the east, I can see the edge of the forest. I go north. A body floats in the water. I'll not look up upon his face. Oh, fool. Right, back to the forest, I guess. I stand beside a waterfall. It is not water that falls, but mud and rocks from a great height. They fall and fall into a bottomless abyss. Behind the waterfall, to the east, lies a tunnel. To the west, I see the edge of the forest. Alright, we go inside the tunnel. East. I am in a dark tunnel. Oh, this is the secret entrance. Right? So that means we have to be in the forest, then go to the beach, go up where the shipwrecks are. And then go east to enter the forest and then go behind the waterfall. I'm in a dark tunnel. Oscar! is here as well. He's upset. He yells at me. He begs me to stop. Oscar, is that the subject that we're exper experimenting on? The tunnel divides into many passages. 
I can go north, south, and west. I should take notes of this because maybe once we reach this place and we are in those tunnels, maybe we have to follow the same directions. So let's say let's make a mental map, right? You enter a tunnel and you can go up, down, or left. If I go west, I just exit, no? Yeah, okay. So we have we go up or down. So up. I'm in a large open space with a piano. Something stands next to the piano. I can see clearly its face. What is it? The tunnel stretches into the dark. Walk down the tunnel. It is a very small room. I love, guys, okay, sorry for the interruptions, but I love that you don't see the place and you might, it's like reading a book kind of, right? Just with the sounds and the description, you imagine the place. And I feel like imagination is the most powerful tool, especially for horror. It's like what you can imagine, right? Yeah. It is very small room. In the center lies a deep pit. A ladder goes down. It is so dark. Down there it lies. It waits. I'll not continue. I must go back. Go down the ladder. There is no other option. I cannot. I can hear it with me. It's breath. Dear God, I must flee. You must continue. Wakefield, you're pushing it, man. It waits for me. It waits down there. I have gone down the ladder. I cannot see. It is pitch dark. I, I can feel its breath. It is here. It is with me. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Enough. We went too far, my friend. You're right. I did not think he would react this way. You did well by stopping the trance, Kaufman. I think it will be best if we leave it for today. Let us return to the inn. Reflect tonight on what we have witnessed here. Tomorrow, let's discuss the next steps in our investigation. Huh? What about the January 21st, 1893? So, some time has passed. Come in. So we're back in the end. Kaufman, are you alright? Worry not, Wakefield. I'm just feeling a bit feeble. You must be all this cold and humidity. <coughs> Nothing serious. I'll, oh, another person getting sick. Guys, it's not coincidence. I would like to know your opinion about what we heard during yesterday's session. session. Do you remember anything that could help us in on our research? I mean, everything. The man shot. So this was Oscar, I guess. Mysterious figure was the one next to the piano, the seaside, to locate the place, no? And the underground tunnel. I believe that this underground tunnel has left a deep impression on Professor's right subconscious. I agree. The horror he experienced at the end of the session was far too intense to derive solely from his imagination. It speaks of some trauma. The sea was a recurring theme during the hypnotic regression. Yes, it is true. Maybe the entrance to these tunnels is somewhere closer to the coast. And throughout the trance, he saw an unknown figure with no visible face, the floating body in the water, the person near the rocks, the one beside the piano. Yes, indeed. But I'm afraid uh, it is too soon to unveil the true meaning of those images. Hmm. I wonder if they were wearing a mask, you know, or something? Uh, Professor Wright mentioned a man that shouted at him near the entrance to the tunnel, begging him not to continue. I cannot remember his name. Very good. It was Oscar. We should attend to find him. He may know something about Professor Wright's fears. If we can find this man, I am sure we will shed some light upon the mystery. Why don't you go to the village and try to find out something about Oscar? <laughs> My apologies, but I must stay here and recover my strength. 
All right. Now we're to Town Square? Oh, bro. Is this part of the second episode still? I guess. This is crazy, by the way. Oh, boy. Yeah, this game is so much... Uh, the Fisherman's Lodge. This game is a lot longer than the first one. Like, a lot. By far. Hello, guys. Do you know something? Very nice people here. Snow all but covers the window. Evidently, no one has been here to clear it. In a very long time, it is too frosted or to see inside. Maybe this house is abandoned. <laughs> so we can go this way. Oh, is that a church? This is the door of the Church of Wickport. So we are at the shore, no? Some abandoned wooden planks. Perhaps they are here for the repair of local fishing boats. Boat here. Uh, and all rotting boats rest on the shore. The name Providence is written on the side. Providence. Okay. Anything else? What is that? An old rusty bronze, bronze bell, typical of a seafaring vessel. It is engraved with the name Augustine. Wait, do I need to remember the vessel's names? Augustine and Providence. Okay. Soul ship is completely wrecked. Wait, is this the same? Far in the distance, I can see a lonely tree bent by the sea wind. Is this the same place? Uh... In the hypnosis, he was walking along. <clears throat> Could be, you know. Okay. Mm, what can we do, though? <laughs> Nothing here, I guess. Let's go to the end. Let's go to the end. Let's talk to the people there. Hey! Stop closing the... Freaking... <laughs> Let's go in here. <coughs> We gotta cross the sick. <laughs> An old poster of a local traditional sport. Huh? Let's talk to the people. Good morning. Let me drink in peace. Are you a ship captain? Why? What is it to you? Does it look do I look like a captain? Because of the hat you're wearing. <laughs> a hat don't make a captain, Tony. You can buy a hat like this. Any flea market in England. Because of your coarse skin, weathered by years of salt and wind. You met many folk in Wickport yet, it's common enough round these parts. Because of your hands, cal callows by years of knocking rope and reeling in line. Any fisherman has hands like this. Because of the three earrings you are wearing. You have doubled the three capes, is that right? Indeed I have. Good home, Lewin and Horn. Therefore, I hold the right to stand before kings. And to peace against the wind. <laughs> okay. If I die in the sea, these three rings, I'll pay my weight. But no, that will not happen now. Do you do you mean you will not set sail again? I love the sea more than anything. It is my passion, my freedom, and my life. But there are many things about him that we do not know. They are far from the coast in the deep dark. Things we're still unprepared to behold. Believe me, those things are way deep down. Have you seen any of those things? No, oh, but you may have heard one of two of those stories the fishermen tell about things seen out there. That is not but tells for youngs. Mere superstition from men to cowardly to face the dark. Are you talking about yourself? Oh, <laughs> any good seaman knows that in the strong wind, I stretch rope and shake and sing. I myself have mistaken such neeing for the wail of a child, but there was no time. One time it was nothing of the sort. Then the sea howled. It is no thunder, not a strong wave clashing with my ship. No, it was like a voice. It spoke to me in a language I cannot describe. I sound matter by living something. 
a call unlike anything I heard before. And I understood. What do you, what do you understand? I understood. There was no more freedom for me. But the sea now had her other lords. And whoever they were, I didn't know, I didn't know they would not share it. What happened then? As I navigated back to the shore, I lost control of my ship in a great storm. The rocks of the cliffs did the rest. I do not know where the remains of my dear Augustine ended up, but the passing of years and tides. I looked for them once for many moons, but all I found was this bar at the bottom of an empty glass. I never returned to the shore since. May she forgive me. Now leave me be. I'll leave you alone to your thoughts. You had the gratitude of me and my whiskey. All that blood drain work up a right sore thirst. Enjoy the drinking. So... I will take him from the owner's ship, perhaps a trinket from the owner's days as a ship helmsman. Maybe we need to find something about the, this guy's boat or something. I don't know. Yeah. It was always thin, right? So, yeah. This lady is dressed rather elegantly for someone who came to drink in a place like this. Elegant woman. Those two fishermen have just given me a suspicious look. Hmm. Good morning. You want a drink? What is the what is it with that man on the corner? Fred, you can ignore him. He's he's a sad lonely drunk. Do you know a man called Oscar? Do you mean Father Oscar? You can find him in the church when he's not there. It's right outside. Uh, have you met a uh, Professor Wright? The professor? Sure. I saw him every other day as a jungle. Always involved in the village. He was a la di da alright, but folk respect him. He got stuck in. Did last though. Uh, shut himself away, started getting visitors from uh, out of town. He stopped coming to the village eventually. Last I heard, he's gone crazy. None of us knows for sure though. Been years since I saw him. Alright, so they, they know. They know. I'll leave you to your work. Good speed. Good speed. Battles around that year in a couple of taps of pale ale. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try to... So, Oscar is the priest of the town. Uh -huh. <laughs> what if I put this here? <laughs> nah. What do I do, guys? What is the priest? Open the church. I have no idea what to do. Probably Hmm. Is there anything I can find on this boat? Oh, maybe the bell? Oh, I can take the bell. Someone may be able to tell me more about it. Maybe I have to clean it? Oh. Hey. An old rusty bronze by the steam. Okay, so you can read the name. Let's bring the bell to this guy at the tavern. Or the inn or whatever. Maybe he will... Because he said that he didn't have any, like, tokens or, like, memories from it. I tried again. Weak people in Wickport, indeed. The name is not coincidence. Well, let's see. I give this to you. There you go. Why that bell is from Augustine? By Augustine. Where on earth did you find it? I found it on the beach uh, near the shipwreck. I thought I would never see it again. I'll clean it and make it shine anew. Quick for beach. Or beach? Why? I must go. I must go straight away. Oh, to be reunited with my poor Augustine. What will remain of her? No, no, I dare not go. But I must. Good day to you, sir. Alright, so he's going to check the... Um, He's going to check the boat. I don't see any other way to progress. So it must be something about this guy, no? Ne neither the cracks in your hole nor your flanking paint. None of it matters. You are beautiful as ever, Augustine. Today we'll watch the sun set together. Good sir, I cannot put into words what a great service you have rendered this drunker. And now, I don't know what that word is. Yes, as you, a stranger, have brought me to my lost treasure. 
May this old sailor spyglass in whatever way can help light to weigh yours to yours. Take it. It is a gift from the heart. So we got a telescope. The fuck? Look at the tree. Look at the tree. A telescope. What is that for? Wait, guys. We we open all the mask in the back here, no? And we never went back there to check it. So I think it's time to go there. We got the spyglass. Let's show the spyglass to the this lady, to these guys or something. Hello. No. Hello. So maybe something, maybe something back at the manor. Let's go back to the manor. I think we have down here a little. Okay, let's go. Wait, where am I going? Where? Maybe I cannot go back to the manor. Cost my coat. Ugly painting. <laughs> nice. Should respect Cosmo and piracy. No. All right, let's talk to him, maybe. How are you feeling? I'm feeling alright, Manfrog. <laughs> Just a bit tired. I have discovered the identity of the man we seek. Oscar is the priest of Wicksport Parish. Why don't you go to the church? There you could talk to the priest. I'll let you rest. Thank you, my friend. It is still no snowing. Okay, let me, let, should I show her the telescope? Show him the telescope? Nothing works. So, the thing is... How do we open the church? Ha! I can see you from here now. Bruh. Wait, what if I approach this slowly, you know? What? Fuck you! Fuck you, mate. Open the chest. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe there is a new. Oh, there is a new dialogue. When will the church open? I wonder if you know when will the church open. I knock on the door, but there is there was no answer. Church. Let me give you some advice. Barmaids ain't the people to ask about church opening hours. That is bars. This here bar is my church. Most of the village, I have come to see things my way too. We praise here these days. <laughs> Doesn't it? The, the bar is the church, guys. The whole village has forsaken the church, but why? The town is forsaken. No work on the coast these days, see? Few can make a living. Most of the fishers and sailors have, have up and left. Half the cottages lie abandoned. Those who stay, they barely leave their homes. Except to come here, of course. But surely there must be more than just these. Many coastal towns face the same struggle, but none lie abandoned. Well, there are rumors. There is rumors, silly stories if you ask me, but some take them real serious. Fishers speak the dependable guys. They'll tell you they have seen this stuff out there. On the water. Apparitions. Shapes among the rocks. I say it's the booze talking, and I shall know who could see anything in all that mist anyway. But fishers, they're superstitious. Folk believe the tales, and one by one they just didn't come home no more. Oh she. Oh she. Tell all, uh, what can you tell me about Captain's Morville? So Morville is the guy we get the bell, I guess, no? Does he come here often? Fred, he's a regular, a sad, lonely drunk. Damn. Uh, so she will not tell me when the church will up. Okay. This guy is the same. This is the same. Damn. What am I missing, guys? Fucking scared of fucking. Oh, 
Oh, oh! You have to approach the window from the side so they don't see you coming and they don't close. Got him! Damn, that was tricky, man. Before I tried to like approach it suddenly, but no, it's like they they cannot see you. Excuse me, are you spying on me? I'm sorry. I did not mean to. You are not from these parts, are you? No, I'm just passing through. Are you alright? Yes. Could you could you do me a favor? For a long time, I have wanted to visit the tomb of my lover, but I cannot leave the house due to my illness. Could you could you please leave these flowers there? No one in this village will do this service for me. I'm too busy. Fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, where is that place? Oh, you could not know how grateful I am. You are a good, kind person. You can go to the graveyard through that part, that path right there. The name you need to look for is Carter. Alright, so we're going to the graveyard. Where <laughs> place the last door? Uh, where are you spying on me? Oh, do not put it like that. It sounds so terrible. I just watch folk pass by. Passing by, I cannot leave the house, so I spend my days at the window. It is awful interesting. You learn a lot about people this way, you know? Really? What can you tell me about myself? I have only observed you for a while. But I can tell you are on an important mission. Looking for someone dear. There is a worry over your shoulders. A long way ahead of you. Well, that was remarkable. I'm frankly astonished. Holy. Uh, let me see. What can you tell me about the barnate? Ooh, we're gonna know more about the people here. Uh, Eva is a woman with a strong character. Once I saw her quick out a group of drunk sailors from the pub. Without a doubt, she is in a bad mood lately. Because business is not what it used to be. She will not leave the village though, as did the others. Okay. Uh, let me see, what can you tell me about Captain Morville? Poor Fred is always drunk in the old times. When he was not sailing, he had long walks on the beach and looked happy. But now, where is the occasion when he gives a quick glance at the coast? He has lost all hope. Hmm. What can you tell me about Father Oscar? He is a man who has lost his purpose. I see him walking aimlessly in the morning and evening, nervous and doubtful. Hmm, is it? Nervous and doubtful? Interesting. I should go. Thanks for the e thanks for everything and have a good day. Okay, flowers. I wonder if those dialogues unlock new dialogues with those people she described, you know? With Eva. Um, uh, Morvel and Oscar. Let's go to the graveyard. Nothing scary here, no? Please? We have to look for Carter. Rose Carter. Don't tell me there's more than one. Is this a reference? Is this a right or something? Sounds familiar. Rum. Nice. Oh. There is no name, date, or epitaph on this gravestone. It's kind of Zeus, no? Okay, what's over here? Oh, shit. Oh, let me put the flowers first, no? Oh, is that the tree that we saw from the shipwreck? I think it is. Okay. Oh. Maybe the church is opening now. The bells of the church. It seems the priest is calling mass. <gasps> but let's first, let, let's check the, the tree first.
a wind swept old gnarly trees clinging onto the cliff with that uh, with what roots remain someday it will fall into the ocean below oh there's a person here hello sir good morning i'm dr wakefield you come from the town don't you you need you need an answer i know by your accent be careful around these cliffs there's no place for tourists it's hardly a place for anyone now the man snorts oh that's not why i said uh, you best be on your way back strange things have been happening here what do you mean seamen and fishermen alike swear to have heard voices in the recent tide in human streams some of them say and there are some who claim to have witnessed ungodly things in the dead of night i once saw a ghastly thing crawling out there amongst the rocks maybe that's the person that's on the tunnels no hmm people have heard screams coming from the sea bloody drunks they say the sea howls to them as if that was something new that thing the one you saw in the rocks? Could you tell me more about it? Late night it was. Me on my boat. Fishing. That's when I get uh, gets, uh, the best catch. Then I saw it. Not under the water, as the other says. It was on a rock. Perched there. Like it was smelling for something. The shape of it. Like nothing I ever saw before. Not walking on the earth. Nor swimming on the sea. The thing was big and hunched over. Like a crouching man. The way it moved, it made my flesh crawl. Gollum? <laughs> this also remind, reminds me of that Lovecraft uh, story, you know? What was it called? Innsmouth? No, not Innsmouth. Uh, maybe it is Innsmouth. Yeah, that, that story is a good one. Um, whatever it was, the mist itself was its ally hiding it from my bare eyes and in the end disappearing away together i swear should i see the horror again i'll take my most vicious harpoon and thrust it so deep in its wretched body that they will have to bury them together yeah so what are you doing up here i come here when i can to watch the shore just in case that thing comes back the mist down there is just too thick i can see better from here even if my eyes are not what they used to be damn it if I could somehow regain my once sharp eyesight again, by God, I'll impale that abomination for sure. I got something for you, man. Telescope. There you go. Now you can see better. Here. Here, will this help you watch uh, the shore? Why? It is old to be sure, but this telescope has been patched up to a rare beauty. You have my thanks, stranger. I am in depth. Hmm. Oh, what is that? On the cliff there. Well, blow me! But if it is in the right old summer house, I thought it entirely it, I thought it entirely destroyed. It looks like you can get there using the old cliff path. Excuse me, did you say the right summer house? Oh. Well, yes, I never saw it myself. I was too young at the time, but everyone around here knows the story well. It was a terrible tragedy, you see. One night, there was a landslide just beneath the house. Ooh. Most of the building fell sheer to the sea, leaving only John the ruins. Many died, though by a miracle John Master Wright was spared. You can see it from here. Look, right there on the other side of the beach. Do you see it? And you couldn't see it before without a telescope? Come on, bro. Cliff, man. Uh, I'll know whether in my determination to destroy that thing, know what this old body of mine endures. Sharp rocks speak out of uh, from beneath the waves. This must be treacherous waters to sell. Oh, yeah, so we have a new location and the church will be open. Plus, we still have a few things back at the manor. Bro, this episode 2 is so long, no? I like it though. Let's go back to to Wixport, to the town square. Yeah, is it open now? Oh, let me tell you. I have left the flowers on your on your lover's grave, as you ask. 
Thank you so much. I'm in your debt. Give me something then. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, this is open now. To the church. A confessional, so weak port serves a Catholic congregation. Hello? Father? Good morning. Good morning, my son. What is the matter, Father? What has happened to your pa parishioners? The village has seen bleak times. Many have left and the rest have lost their faith. Every day I ring the bells, but no one answers. May God have mercy on their souls. What do you suppose that is? I could not say. The mist that shrouds the coast and the shapes that surge within have been long a source of hearsay. But lately the story people tell are not of pirates and smugglers, but something more sinister. Some say the devil himself has come to our shore. It is a rumor I dare not disregard. Bro. Are you personally acquainted with Professor Wright? Well, yes, of course. Adam was rather... He's not merely a passioneer, but one of my closest friends. Since our youth, we enjoyed many scholar, scholarly, but sometimes quite fervent discussions. He being an anthropologist and myself a theologian. That is, until he fell ill. But see, he's like that. I have not visited him. Damn. You abandoned him! I must go, father. Wait a moment, please. I need to ask for a small favor. Please give this to Adam. I don't know if it will mean anything to him now. But it will bring peace to my soul if there is some token of our friendship resting by his side. Oh, is that like a photo? Now we can go back to Rife Manor. Okay, there you go. Finally. Let me check this. A picture. A picture of two young men. They could be Professor Wright and Father Oscar. Oh. So that will probably trigger another of his memories. Is there anything else back here? A humble altar made of an adorned marble. Neglected and the king cross reflects the faith of the villagers all too well. Okay, there's nothing else here. Oh. Um. Hmm. Man, that puzzle with the birds still lingering on my mind. I wonder, like, we're gonna have to do that something there. But I just don't know what or how. Let me talk to Eva one second to see if there is a new dialogue. No. Ah. So back to the manor. What should we do first? Give him the photograph. Oh. It's closed. The main door is closed from the inside. <gasps> oh. Something happening. This is still open. Wait, let me check this. This should be open now. Oh, this fell. The vessel that this study was holding. And the clay vessel has fallen to the ground. Grab it. There was something inside. The clay vessel held by the statue is now broken into many pieces. There is an object among them. It must have been in, in, hidden inside. What is it? Looks like a compass. It must be broken since it does not point north. Huh? And the poop! And the poop! Uh, a strange device. It cannot be a compass because it doesn't no point north, but to see, uh, but seemingly random directions. Hmm, maybe that's that's gonna get. Wait, it's changing. No, I said move. Yeah, it's changing. Look, I was gonna say it, it may guide us through the through the tunnels, but we may use it here. Double bless you. Thank you. Let's go to Professor. 
I hope you're still there. Wait, can I open this door from here? What the what the fuck? Why is it so dark? Nope. What is uh Oh good the the, the lady? The room to the professor's room, the door, is closed. Why? The door is locked with a key. Oh, fuck. Wait. Well, I think we have to follow the compass, guys. Look, here's pointing to the right. We have to go. We have to follow the compass. It keeps going right, so not to the left. And I cannot go that way. Yeah, I keep pointing left. Let's go outside. Wait, what was this room? Did I ever check this? There is a closed chest here. Open the chest. There is a key inside. Bro, why? Why did we never come to this room? Uh, no, this room is open only now, the second time we came here. There is nothing of interest here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is only open now. A cage covered with an embroidered cloth. The end of a phrase is written on it. A visitor will call. What? Cloth. I have two cloths now. Does that, does that mean I have to cover two birds? A visitor will call. If the birds hold silent, a visitor will call. That's the whole sentence. Okay, that's a puzzle. Let's go to the basement again. Nah. No. There has to be something outside. Is it the fountain? Let's go this way. Oh, well, there is something here. No. Wait, 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 wait. It's pointing down. Wait, what if it's on a different location, guys? What if it's here? I should have tried the key on the house, no? Oh, it's pointing to this grave. For sure. The compass points to this grave? <gasps> what is that? There is something buried here. What is that? An engraved stone. It seems to be only one half of a larger statuette. And we don't have the compass anymore. Fragment. Oh, what? This guy's still here. Yep. Okay, so... Oh, we can go to the cliff. We, we never went to the cliff, no? I forgot about that. But, I also want to... Mm, okay, I'm going to go to the manor real quick. <clears throat> Try the key on... On... The room. Right? The professor's room. I don't think it's going to work. Maybe this key is for the house on the cliff, you know? All makes sense, but we can try still. 
I'm gonna try it here too. I don't think that works. I think that works. Okay. I hope he's here. Oh, shit. Face or right is not here. Is that on the ground? There's an open book on the floor. A book. The Book of Birds. The Book of Birds is a compilation of legends related to birds. Some of the text has been marked. The birds were traveling to meet their king when they reached a crossroad. The red crow tried to lead them astray and onto the path of mist. Many birds followed him and were lost forever beyond that veil. Only the wisdom of the crest hoople and the prudence of the red feather robin could lead the remaining 28 back onto the path of righteousness. Ever since the birds have sung their pray, praise, praise, for without the hopo and the robin, silence will have fallen forever. Oh, so if we cover those two, that means the other one will go silent, no? Makes sense. Because they'll not be singing their praise to them. Professor's right, dressing, going and sleep. Bro, we're going to find him naked around the house. With, it, with his back cheeks. Fuck's sake. So it was the the Hoppo and the Robin. All right, let's try to, <laughs> to find those. Very glad I came here with the key. And we still have the cliffs to check. That's insane. It's not this way. This way. All right. I think we should be able to solve this puzzle now. So you could not solve it before. Why are we looking so slow? I feel like something is gonna happen, man. I cannot. So, not that one. No, I think it's this one. I need to read the description. Red feather. Okay. Red feather. Okay, let's try this one. I don't think it's that one. Red feathers. The birds inside suddenly grow quiet. All the birds have suddenly stopped their chittering. The visitor. The visitor! It sounds as if there is someone at the door. Oh boy. Alright, gotta first try. I'm being insanely lucky today with the puzzles. Holy. The door has been opened. Who is there? How did they open the door? Did he get inside the house already? I'm gonna check everything.
Is there someone in the house? What is the service lady? Okay, oh, yeah. let's check the second floor. It's probably on the second floor. No one here. There was one door we could never open, right? So. Oh, shit. Who's there? Do I want to go in there? Who's the visitor? <gasps> Wait, is that David? Oh, God, Mr. Wright. Oh, it's the old man. What are you doing? The poor man. It looks as if his heart gave out of him. His eyes, my God, they are fixed with an expression of utmost terror. Let me see. His fists are clenched. He's holding onto something. It is some kind of a stone figure in. He's holding it tightly as if he was protecting it from someone. The figure is beautifully carved, but it appears to be but one half of a larger artifact. He's dead, no? What? So he was running from something. And he was protecting that for some reason. Oh. Can I put these two fragments together? Join together, the two pieces form an intricate car figure, furin or idol. It is ancient without any doubt. Okay, I don't know where. He's dead! Wait, what is happening? This is serious. I must break the news to Kaufman. And of course, the local authorities will have to be informed. What do I do with this statue? Kaufman? What is the matter, Kaufman? Don't worry, I've given him a mild sedative. Allow me to introduce myself, I am Dr. Armitage. Armitage? The innkeeper called me because he was worried about your friend. Pleased to meet you, I'm Dr. Wakefield. What are coughs and symptoms? Strong coughing, general feebleness, dizziness? It is too soon yet for a diagnosis. It could be a simple call. But the sudden onset and severity of his symptoms is certainly a concern. He must be monitored for the next few hours at least. Do not worry, Dr. Wayfield. I'll remain here and take care of your friend. Come on! Don't die on me, man! He's very pale. Doctor, this, this is far from my speciality, but do you think that it could be something more serious? It's too soon to know. Let us wait and see how his condition develops. Oh. Uh, let's go to the cliff. We have never been there yet, so... These drugs look like the remains of a landslide. The roots of this bearable tree tightly grips the rocks that anchor it against the harsh winds. This music is so good, no? It feels like we are in a like a super good story. Man, so good. So immersive. An empty wardrobe, it's good is rotted rotted from the long exposure to the sea air. The landscape shows the house as it was before the landslide ruined it. Oh. It's a peculiar ident identification on this stone. Is that where the silhouette, go the, the statue goes? Watch your step. Bro, I'm gonna fall. Yeah, we put that there. All the dots. I see, I see. I didn't see that before. He has triggered some secret mechanism. There is a passage behind the fireplace. It seems to lead into the cliff. Oh, shit. This must be the entrance to the underground tunnel. I must go on. There is a note on the floor. Whatever you find down here, do not stop. What? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Oh no. Oh no. Please don't tell me I have to do the tunnels now. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is. Yeah, this. Okay. Like the hint we got before from the waterfall, we enter th from the west to the east. So maybe this is a reversed tunnel. So we go from the east to the west? I have no idea. But if someone is playing the piano and we hear it, we need to get laser. Closer, I mean, to the piano. Some viscous substance. It could be some kind of fungus, or maybe the decomposed remains of an animal. Ugh. The place from all in the dark. Yeah, the caves below the mansion. This is back to the entrance, no? Yeah. What the fuck? So this is a dead end. It's part of the case blocked by the cave-in. So this is the other side. Okay. So that means we have to go... Left. And then up, I think. No, left again. The hole. There is a white pit in the middle of the chamber. It descends deep into the dark. I think I heard the sound of the sea far below. I need a rope. To go down or a ladder or something. What? Oh, man. Do I find that here or somewhere else? This is back to the entrance, no? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, this is the entrance again. Wait, is it? Yeah, I think it is. It is, it is, it is. So... We need to go to that hole. Wait, what? There is no escape. Guys, there is no exit. Oh, shit. I'm so confused right now. If there is any logic to this, I don't get it. get it I hear the piano though these are human remains the flesh is gone but the bones look undisturbed how long have they had they lain here why on earth did professor Wright not alert the authorities I must press on what possible research could have led to this I was tricky you know because that room from the left was a copy paste of one per Previously, but you had to like change directions. Okay, but we we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, I hear the piano on the left. You guys hear that? I think it's this way. Who's playing the piano? Yeah, it's more st stronger here. This is alone in the dark. This bridge. They heard me coming. They stopped playing. This is a strange metal device hanging from the ceiling. Oh, this is where I was picking up the sound for to the gramophone. <gasps> There's a grand piano placed in the middle of the room. Yeah. 
this ambient sound. Oh, someone is breathing. Someone is around here. There I go. I'm lost. What is that? A small passage goes into the brick wall. It is too thin to pass through. Too thin to like pass through. Can I like put something there? Do we have to break the wall even more? I don't know, man. Let's go here to the left. The tension is real, man. Someone's running, no? Oh, what the... What is this place? A strange machine. It does not seem to be working anymore. Where is that? Oh, there's someone on the... What is that? There is a note on the floor. Who was gone will be back. Not the same. But somehow change. Because that which lurks behind the door waits. And no one that has crossed through can hope to escape its blessing. I must tell Kaufman about all of this. Is that another... What is that? These clothes are torn down to unrecognizable shreds. There is a tag in here with two initials. H-A. Is that Hugo? That must be Hugo. There is a large arch archway cat carved into the stone full of the cave. Bro, I don't want to go back now. You know something's going to happen, no? Oh, fucking hell. Who was that? No, what was that? Oh shit. 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 Part of this wall, a wall stone seemed to have this lock from it. Living out behind, uh, living behind a large dark hole. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> There's something behind me! Oh, what the what is that? What is that? Bro, I was just picking like a human form thing. What the fuck is that? The cliffhanger. Okay, so Wakefield is either dead or in real trouble. Does that mean in chapter three we're gonna play as Kaufman? Or back to Debit? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll finish this. I'll try to finish this Friday, okay? That was... Oh man, these two episodes? Mwah. Chef Kiss. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Man, the the storytelling, this, this, the music is so good, and the sound design as well. And how... Man, the build-up, um, boom. Ah! The battle was insanely good as well. Wow. Mind blown. But yeah. 
Guys, I'll see you next time. Have a good night. And don't have too many nightmares. I will. Bye-bye. <laughs>